No. This is day two of the uh, Dreamcast showcase on real hardware. Uh, I said yesterday I didn't have enough time to cover all the games. Well, I'm going to cover the rest of the games and then fuck off. That's all I have planned today because, um, well, A, I'm tired, and B, I kind of need to get up early tomorrow, so I'm going to try to go to bed early, so. Which means I can't stay up till like, 2 again. Um, hopefully this sh even though I have, like, a small pile of games remaining, like, I we can go and re revisit some games, maybe. Not to mention the games that I do want to cover here, um, I, I probably can stretch this out to a couple hours. About three or four, at most, so... We'll see. If, if, I, if I do have enough time, I might play something else, but nothing crazy. So. So, yeah, last time, uh, last time I had a lot of fun with the Dreamcast Showcase. Um, again, like, this console is just, like, a wonderful, wonderful thing, and, uh, I love it. Um, I kind of wish I had a way to, uh, you know play games off the SD card, because, like, really, like, these GD-ROMs aren't gonna last forever. I will say, though, however, yeah, now I can actually face the mic, so I'm gonna sound less weird. I will say, though, I'm actually kind of surprised that, like, not as many games have the disc rot thing as I thought I, as I thought I, I did. Like, only a few. So, like, I was re-looking at the, uh, the disc for Sonic Adventure, and that doesn't look at, that doesn't look at, like disc rot as much as somebody like scratched the disc, and uh, it wasn't me. So I think like, you know, somebody like might have dropped the disc and like broke off like, like a large like chunk of it, and like I never noticed until like recently, which I don't doubt because you know, I've moved like several times. I did have these games out at one point. I mean, anything is possible. The point is like I I. I I take care of my shit. Yeah. Uh, my Sega CD games do have more of this kind of problem, though. Uh, the Discord thing is real. Um, and it does affect a, lo a lot of games. Um, but my Sega CD games seem to be hit the hardest by this. They all pretty much have some major damage to them. Some of them I can't even get running on hardware anymore, so... Of course, it's a Sega CD. It's not real hard to just... You know burn the games. Same thing for this thing, actually. It's surprisingly easy to pirate on the Sega Dreamcast. So anyway, uh, I played this game last time, uh... But I'm gonna play it a little bit more because I, I love fucking Vigilante 8. <laughs> this game is... a lot of fun, and I... Do I still have, like, Rainbow Six there? Hold on, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah? Nope. 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 Nope, sorry. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Why are GD-ROMs prone to disc rot sooner? Uh, cheaper printing processes. It's really like the best way I can describe that. Um, I read somewhere that their uh, like like the printing process for the Dreamcast was uh, for GD-ROMs was uh, lackluster compared to other consoles. So Sega fucked up basically. Yeah, don't forget. As I said, it's not just GD-ROMs. The Sega CD has it way worse. I guess the GD-ROMs just got. A way better because they're newer. Okay, anything else I need to delete? Hold on, I actually have like save data for Tomb Raider Chronicles. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Yeah, I should really order like, if I ever like get the mod for the Dreamcast where I can just load games off the SD card, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, one of those like big, big boy uh, VMUs. So I can, like, put, put more date on it. Pick the lowest bidder to manufacture the discs. Exactly, yeah. Other game companies have done this, too. I, uh, I was reading on, like, Disc Rod earlier. On, uh, a forum he, uh, that shall not be mentioned. And it shows a picture of Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, and... The Disc Rod there was so bad, it looked like... It looked like a dried lake bed. It was just cracks all over the surface, and, th and that thing is unreadable, uh, like, obviously. I keep forgetting that I can skip. Skip! But yeah, no, it's 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 just... If manufacturers don't press the discs properly... And by the way, that was a GameCube game. This game actually does have, a, like, a little bit of disc rot to it as well. Um, uh, luckily, it doesn't affect it too badly. But you'll see. 
it, it, it's prone to crashing. So. It's way worse if stored in humidity. Yeah, that's why I, I use uh, an air conditioner all the time. <laughs> like, even even on days when it's like 60 to like, like 65-ish, if it's really humid out, I'm just gonna like make the AC like output cold air because like it's better than uh, it's better than the alternative. <laughs> like I I don't do well in humidity to begin with, and I definitely know my electronics don't. John Torque actually has a really awesome vehicle. The Dakota Sun Cycle sucks my ass, and I obviously love the fucking hover car. Actually, let me go back and see what his. Uh, in order to unlock new vehicles, you need to uh, complete quest lines. So, like, I need to uh, also need need to do ni Nina Loco as well as Molo. Finished object. Wait, finished objectives missed. Huh? Oh, it gives you biography for each uh, each person. Wait, hold on. Well, <laughs> well, we get to watch the movie at least. Oh, Jesus. He really is just like a cowboy, like, c cyborg. <laughs> Holy shit. This game's got a lot to it. Like, I kind of want to do almost- I kind of almost want to do like a full playthrough, like, maybe, but it's... <laughs> this game is just... bonkers. I think I'm just gonna do more arcade, honestly. Uh, let's see, where- Where haven't I shown off? Okay, I've done the bio. I think we- have, we, have I done the winter games yet? I'm do them anyway. I usually pick the pal uh, the pal palomini palomino thirteen. I don't know. Yeah, I usually pick this car because it, well, a it looks cool and b the special uh, kicks ass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably should get a dehumidifier. I, I'm thinking about it. The well, we have dehumidifiers, but they're used in the basement. Up, up, right, machine gun for the interceptor missiles. Boy, you'd, you know, I'm so used to like modern games with like the triggers that I just. <laughs> Did you see me shoot them in like the machine gun there? I, uh. That was my attempt to, uh. Drive. Didn't quite work. Got here. Don't, don't ask me how this works. I really don't mind the cold, so whatever. My AC does have a dehumidifier mode, and I've used it. I just... I also prefer it to be, like, 68 in here. Oh, my God. And I always forget how bad this game just lags sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I fire off so many missiles out that, like, one of them just plows in, 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 into the earth. Did you see the LODs on that fucker? Explain this to me, how does the, uh... Okay, I understand overheating, but, like, how does the, uh... The game's probably really loud, by the way. Yeah, how does the machine gun just slow down? Like, I understand, like, overheating, but, like, in real life, machine guns don't over... Just don't... They don't slow down from overheating, they just kind of stop working. Trying to, trying to install a Windows XP VM on my Windows 10 VM. But, wait, isn't the Windows 10... But, Windows... 10, it, why not just make another VM? Why are you trying to, like, inception this shit, Eagle? What are you doing? <laughs> that is... That is such a fucking stupid but awesome thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm too lazy. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Get... Yeah, if there's a, if there's anything like you're within you're within good company here and as far as that as far as that goes. I didn't even want to do today's stream just because I didn't feel like it. Oh fuck you. 
Like, it, it's, it's been one of those, like, shitty slow days, honestly. Yeah, fire. But I thought about it, and really, I just... I just wanted to play, like, like some of these games, especially this one. Like, I don't know how exciting this is to watch, but... Boy, let me tell you, it's exciting to play. I... It, out of all the games, like, for, from the Dreamcast area, like... Era, area. Era. Like, I wish they, they would, like... Think about, you know, re remaking... Maybe even remastering. Uh, this is one of, the, like, the, the big ones. Like, this game is just so much fun. I mean, I can't imagine how it'd be with less jank, so... Wow, the bus has, like, five hits remaining. I'm gonna go and, like, cherry tap it. You ready? Here we go, machine gun! It has no health. What are you doing? Oh, my. <laughs> Can you, like, get off my tits for five seconds? Oh, my. Holy crap. Okay, I forgot, like, there's, like, a special uh, power-up for, like, snow areas. Well, I just destroyed the skiing lounge. Aw, oh, you bitch. No! No, my special! Oh, God, he just knocked the weapon off. The soundtrack rocks. It bops. Let me tell you, it bops my, it it, it bops my boobs. Nope. 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 We're not doing that. So, like, why are you doing Windows 10 VM to begin with? I think is the better question. Like, is it for, like, some old games? Because if it's just for, like, a couple of older games, then I think it should be fine, honestly. Uh. Ah, yes, I see. The instant lag button. Oh. Fucking destroyed. Yeah, I love the I love the fact that you can just like combo like these these weapons. That's this other one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, oh Jesus! I just turned so hard the fucking car flipped. Let me tell you, when you fucking score that last hit like that, man. Oh, that is catharsis. And then, there she is. Victorious. That's what a successful game looks like. And does, uh... You guys see why I love this car, by the way? Yeah, flip it. One more game. Did I... Okay, I know I played this last time, but I sh d Did I show off the giant ant? In Media Crater, like, did I show that off? <laughs> like anyone remembers. Um, just give me one second, I gotta... Gotta check something. Never really... Oh, I did play House of the Dead 2 at some point. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way. Does he have to complete? That is. I don't know if I did or not, but uh, <laughs> I will show it off. I'm gonna play as another character, actually. How about John Torque? 
The cards has been dealt. I love this game, though. Carry at least two rockets. You can launch to the Bastion rocket combo by pressing up, down, right, machine gun. I need to, like, look up, like, all these combos, like, someday. I forget, is it this, or...? It's probably this. Oh! Oh. I see. <laughs> and, of course, the hover car is currently hovering. For God's sake. Hold on. Oh boy. Play shop it! Oh my god, the he went flying. Alright, that's it. Yeah, at some point during this, uh, dur during this level, uh, a meteor can fall, and a giant ant will just start, like, flying around the map, and it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I, I love the wonky physics and how you can just send people flying, that's awesome. Snake eyes! Holy crap, just wrecked. Provision and that's going to donate to the makerspace. I need to reach out more. Maybe one is actually to flash Linux to this net. Why? But hold on. That's asinine. What are you talking about? So I'm just going to wait for people to like come through. God, my, my vehicle's all sorts of fucked up. Eh. I gotta take their time, never mind. This is one of the only games, like, that I can... Uh, that, that I can think of, where you have to, like, actively hold a brake key in order to stop the, the damn car from moving forward. Yeah, I'm waiting for that large, uh, crater to, uh, to appear. God damn it, can we have, like, two fucking, like, people... Oh my. We have like two people floating around now. Stop that. Oh, the fucking meteorite just landed right here. That was actually a really cool effect. Holy shit. Ah! Oh, no, my special. I want to show off that fucking meteorite. A giant meteor falls right in the middle of the map, and then an ant just like pops out of it and starts wrecking havoc. It's the coolest fucking thing. Okay, the, the ant looks janky as shit, but trust me, it's. I'm sorry, is... Is there a cop car in the middle of the me meteorite? What, what are you doing, bro? What the hell does the X do? If I remember correctly, this is an avoidance module. It, uh... It's a power-up that... Okay, so you know how, like, some, like, like weapons target your car? I believe that helps your car... Avoid detection, like like uh, it, it'll cause the lock-on to like lose. It's uh, like uh, like what do you call it? Oh ho ho! My God! Oh! Oh ho ho ho! Oh my God! She was in the air too. Nope, you're getting like the full five Monty here. And I'm out of I'm out of ammo. Why is everyone floating? Because there's a fucking There's a power up that that adds like a hover like module to your car. 
Well, I, what I don't get is how come, like, Palmanero, like, 13, like, needs that power-up order to function when it's already a, uh, a fucking hover car to begin with? Right. This is the shield module. Ah, Fruit Sand, my favorite. Oh, when is that, uh... Oh, there's one. Yeah, watch, I'll show you what the fucking, like, uh... I'll show you how you can fly in this game. I mean, it's not... It's not a whole lot of hover, and it's extremely janky and kind of hard to hit shit, but, uh... Now he's just running around being stupid. I'm gonna just gonna park it up here and wait for that. Uh, I I just like to point out that this is not how cars work. Look at look at how this car is turning. That's uh no no <laughs> that's what I mean about you know okay so they get the detail where if you don't hold the brake your car will just move on its own. but uh <laughs> turning is still is still a problem. By the way, it's very weird to back up in this game. You gotta hold brake and then push down on the analog stick. <laughs> yeah, weird. Am I hitting him? Holy crap. The fucking cannon goes flying. this giant meteorite to fall. I want to show off the ant. I don't think it spawns anymore. Like, I forget what you have to do in order to make the ant actually, like, appear. Yeah, whatever. I'll... This isn't, like, the last time I'll be playing this game on the stream. You bet your ass. I'd like to point out that this is actually a superior way to, like, stream this game than, than playing on the emulator because I can actually, like, give this proper deinterlacing here. So it so so this is a much better like viewing experience than, than the last time I streamed. Oh, oh where'd he go? Where'd he go? Son of a bitch is gone, man. Okay, he he's just he's 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 inside the map. Oh there he comes. And he's done. Not the donut shop. And there goes the donut. Another way to control this game is by entirely like using the D-pad. Got everything. You could destroy everything. And then promptly get stuck on the oh donut. Anyway, yeah. Vigilante 8, second offense. I I love this game. <laughs> it is so much fun, so underappreciated. As I said, like, I wish, uh... I wish more games in this series would come out. Especially in modern systems. The, uh, this is actually kind of based off of another game that came out on the PC first called, uh, what was it, Interstate something? Interstate 8? No, that's stupid. And Interstate something, uh, I forget what it was called. But uh, it doesn't run well in modern systems, and like, even the God, even God can't save it, so. Alright, so. Move, I'm gonna move on. Did I call the hint line? <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna call the fucking hint line. Alright. Moving on. Have you ever heard of Echo the Dolphin? Because Echo the Dolphin got one last game after the two sequels. Yeah, I did? Okay. I love this everyone. Animated blood. Anyway, this is Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. Very, 
this is a very interesting game. It is also extremely difficult. I tried legitimately like to play this game, but it just it just wouldn't happen. It's got a really weird storyline, by the way. Like I, uh, you'll see what I mean. Setup will complete in approximately thirty-one minutes. Damn, Deagle. <laughs> Appaloosa. Forget what else they did. There he is. I believe the only other console this game uh, was on was on the PS2. Music in this game is actually pretty good, too, I remember. Okay, I think we can probably turn that up a little. Uh, wow, I, I still have my old save on here. That's incredible. So, where was, where was I? Oh, right, apparently I was at Four Ways of Mystery. That's where I, I stopped playing, like, the last time, but there is a lot of levels in this game. <laughs> I love these fucking min menu sounds. So this is the wettest game you'll ever see. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but, but, true! Jump pack disabled. Well. Uh, allow me to... There we go. Sounds like juicy pushy. Music volume. I can turn it off. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I remember this game being pretty good. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Again, very weird storyline, but it was actually kind of fun. Until why is it that this game about a cute dolphin has to have such like ball busting gameplay? You'll see what I mean. It gets really hard like early on. Like within by level three and four, it's just it's brutal. For five hundred years, dolphins and humans had lived together. In unity, harmony, and fellowship. Don't question it, just go with it. Together, they set out to explore the great unknown. What? Peace and friendship were offered to all who would welcome it. You didn't expect this kind of shit from Echo the Dolphin, did you? Yeah, neither did I. But there were forces oh, wait, for gets better. aggression was the highest calling. I love this intro, by the way. Creatures known only as the foe regarded the Earth with envious eyes. For humans and dolphins were their hated enemy. From time beyond memory, the foe had gone undefeated. They devoured, dominated, and annihilated all in their path. But humans and dolphins brought their age of conquest to an end. Driven to the brink of defeat, the foe plotted vengeance on Earth. Yeah, you just have to like go with it. It doesn't show, but there was but an the epic war apparently. The dolphins who remained behind were not defenseless. Protected by their greatest creation, the Guardian shielded them with its immense power. Undeterred. The foe persisted, seeking a moment of weakness. Stock sound effect. And in this time of crisis, lived a young dolphin named Echo. He was destined to become the only hope for humans and dolphins. Echo, defender of Earth's future. So there's that. <laughs> Imagine playing this game as a kid and just being utterly perplexed. <laughs> that was my experience. Like, ah, oh, yeah. When did this come out? Like, 99? 2000? Yeah, I was 10. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, just whoosh! And we are actually in the game. I think I can turn it down now. 
Greetings, Echo. You are young and eager, but if you will listen to a wise old dolphin like me, maybe I can teach you some new things. If you wish to talk, just point your bottle nose at me and use your sonar. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah welcome to Echo the Dolphin. Just like a real dolphin, you like... You can swim around, you can charge, you can... You can... Dive! Oh, that's... That's satisfying. Whoa! Oh god, and like, like, like the way the game, like... Okay, there's a sonar. Yeah. Very complex movement system for a game like this. I guess it makes sense, because it's the, you're moving in, like, full 3D space. Good, you know how to talk. Now let's see if you can swim, just as well as you can talk. Pump with your flipper to accelerate, or hold down to keep a steady pace. Once you stop pumping... Yeah, pump it. Yeah. You will slow down gradually. Try it now. I believe if you hold the sonar, you can get a map. Yep, there it is. Very, like, low draw distance, though. That's one of the problems I had with this game. Nice fluid tail work there, but can you charge as well? Charging will give you the extra speed. You can go faster and jump higher than you would think possible. Charging is also the way you catch your prey, the fish. Just aim your nose at the school of them and charge right into the middle of them. Go try it. Yeah, if I could find any. Oh, there they are. There we go. You do have to watch out for your air meter. Uh, you, uh, you see, like, the two meters up top? One's health, one's air. And yes, uh, it's not a problem here, but there are levels. Like the four ways, like, passageway, like, level that I stopped playing. It, uh, it's one of those levels where there's no air. <laughs> so it's, you're kind of on a timer the whole time, and it's just a massive maze of dog shit. <laughs> so it's just, like, that's the point where I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> hey, easy with that charge. You might hurt someone friendly. Charging is also used as a weapon against your enemies, but as a weapon What is this formatting? Weapon against your enemies, but never ever point your nose at the fr at your friends unless you want to talk. Now try a special maneuver, the quick turn. You can do it left or right to turn around in an instant. Give it a try. Now, it tells me to do that, but it doesn't tell me how. You gotta hold Y. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm running low on air. Ah, belly flop. Oh my god. That is disorienting. I never played this game on the PS2, but I... I did have this one. Good job. Turning around quick may give you an edge when it comes to fighting enemies. Now, another special trick. Not all dolphins are able to master it, but I know you can... swimming backwards. Use it as a break to slow down and stop it an instant. When you have stopped, use it to swim backwards. Could you master this one? Again, they don't tell you how, but you gotta hold Y and down. Then you can stop it, then you can use it to... turn around. Is this a thing dolphins can do in real life? I'm having doubts. Come on, sonar him. <laughs> like, I don't know about that one. You're a quick learner, Echo. You have mastered all the basic skills a dolphin should know. Now it's time for fun. Uh oh. <laughs> so, uh, so when does so when do the dolphin rape caves come into play? <laughs> Sorry. Let's see if you can tail walk. Just slowly peek, peek your nose above the surface of the water. When you can feel the breeze, start pumping with your tail. You can tail walk around for a long time and see things not visible from underwater. Go try it and have some fun. So can I see any of the, any, any of the dolphin... Uh, d oh, no, don't say it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so, like, this is one of the ways to, like, see, like, the overworld. Or the upper world. Because I, because obviously, you know, you're, you're dolphin, you can't go, like, down below. Look at how happy you look. Look at how happy he's dolphin. Game is kind of neat. So those are sharks. Uh, <laughs> there is supposedly a way to like escape the level here. Forget how to do it. Ah! Uh, oh my! Yeah, frame rate. Forget how to do it. Uh. I've only seen it done and talked about. I've never actually pulled it off. Uh, 
It's supposed to be like a part over here where you can just force y yourself into like the world and then fly around in the background. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't you just love this? Like, I'm not even in five seconds. I'm already try trying to break the game. Great day to play fetch fish. Whoever brings me a blue fish first wins. Ready, go. Yeah, so this introduction level basically just teaches you how to, like, be th be the echo, you know? Okay, so this door will come into play later. Right, I remember there... I remember the, the game and it's, uh... Right, blue fish you wanted, right? Got it. Uh, well, I, I got the blue fish. I just need to find... Was it you? That was great, Echo. Do a victory tail walk. Uh, do I have to? There, I did it. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. No, it's just like controlling a real dolphin, I swear. Yay. And so anyway, yeah, this is just a tutorial area. Um, uh, you kind of learn how to play the game, and then stuff happens. Uh, you do have to waste time, though. Not oh, the shark! Get the shark! Hmm. It's kind of neat how the shark bounces back a signal to you. I hear away. There he is. Are you here to see the Guardian? Send the explorers on their way. It was magnificent. And I skipped a complete line of dialogue there. Oh, you got a little baby. Hello, Echo. I would love to see you in some of those tricks. Show me how high you can jump. <laughs> Veterans of the first game are going, oh boy, here we go. Oh. <laughs> that worked perfectly. Holy crap. Fun fact, that's a timed event. I remember it used to scare the shit out of me as a kid. Ooh, god. Fucking guarding crystal just erupted. Echo, thank goodness you're here. My baby's missing. I can hear her crying for help, but she's nowhere in sight. over here. Echo, help! I'm stuck behind these rocks! Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Please? Holy crap. Okay, so the game's, uh, the game's a little hard to control sometimes. Please hurry, Echo. Only, only you dolphins can save my little baby. Right, okay. So I gotta get the help of a dolphin. Why well, don't I use the turtles? Well, look at the old baby turtle. This game is just relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, where'd all the other dolphins go? I'm just over here. Baby's trapped, show us the way, we'll help. Cool, so now I got a squad. I love how they perfectly mirror my, uh, my moves. Hello, oh, what's this? Earthquake destroyed me. And our world is in danger. I am in need of your help and will be and will guide you to me. This is only your first test of many. Save the child whale. And the Great One will help you pass the falling water. Yeah. Of course, those are the same kind of glyphs that were... ...in the first game as well. First two games. Yeah, I like how they continued, like, the trend of uh, a cute dolphin game being uh, ball-busting by... ...making the cute dolphin game be ball-busting in 3D now.
Like, it's not too bad in the beginning, but like, once you reach like level 3 and 4, then it starts getting brutal. Ball busting d dolphins. Okay, Scott. I mean, again, like, have you ever heard of dolphin rape caves? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, naturally falling rocks. But not really, as a, as I said, this game gets, uh... This game, uh, this game gets extraordinarily hard. Pretty early. Like, I couldn't get far as a kid, and I couldn't get far as an adult, either. It's like, you wouldn't expect that the, a game about a cute dolphin to be, like, so hard. But it is. Thanks for saving me. I think my mother wants to thank you, too. But I'm not suckling the teats. Ra raves? I want to go to a rave. <laughs> you saved her, Echo. You really are brave, as my baby says. Others around the island may need you, Echo. Meet me at the waterfall, and I will help you get to the coral reefs. Be a guide on your quest. Oof. Please. Whoa. It's supposed to be a way to, like, adjust your roll. Can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, just stick your face in there. Can well swim backwards? Perils of the Coral Reef. This is, uh, like, level two. This is, uh, this is where you learn about sharks. And a really big one that can actually kill you in one hit. Uh, this level scared the laps of the bejesus out of me as a kid. I'm not even kidding about that. Nice music? Oh, yeah. Uh, e e Echo the Dolphin's music is really, really good. Even if you, like, maybe not like the game, I was definitely suggest just checking out the uh, soundtrack. It is... I am so relaxed right now just from the music alone. Like, uh, like, I can't get poggers today because, like, this music is just so relaxing. I wasn't joking. You get this nice, relaxing music, and then they give you this scary shark that can kill you in one hit. And yes, there is limited lives in this game, too, by the way. There's no way back, Echo. Your quest shall begin. Earth was attacked, and danger is approaching. My powers are weak since I have been halved. Earth is defenseless, but one chosen dolphin can rescue us all. This call from Atlantis sounds distant and hopeless, but you are the dolphin to bring our hope back. You shall learn from other, the others new skills, talent, wisdom, and join me prepared to restore what was lost. Remember, the answers are not always instant, but who who is persistent is but who is resistant rewarded becomes. Fucking hell. And uh and just like Echo the Dolphin 2, Tides of Time, this game also delves... The storyline gets really insane. Basically, there's a shark on my ass. And now I'm poisoned. Ah, that's good. And immediately, I get hurt by a fucking poison jellyfish. Yeah, I know. No, okay, that's not how do you... Anyway, there's like... There's time travel elements. The story delves into time travel and, like, alternate universes and, like... Like, the first time you, like, go to, like, the, the future... You find this world that's just on the brink of destruction because dolphins... Were... Were, like, exploited by the humans and... Like, this world is just, like, an apocalyptic. And, uh... This is happening right now. There you go. Ugh! And meanwhile, the gameplay is so janky, like, I can't even get past stage four. I want to say this is a really good game, though. I really do, because it has a really cool atmosphere. 
the levels are like really intricately detailed. Like look at the like the amount of detail on like for these underwater like little areas. And they, they they only get better. Especially like in the later levels where like technologies are introduced. There's one like level that's literally you going through like air tubes. Oh, and there's the hanging waters level. Oh my god. Brutal but beautiful. I wish I could show those off, but like I don't have a game shark, so. The only the only way I know about this level is because I cheated at one point and just unlocked all the levels because I couldn't get that far. But yeah, the, the levels are huge. It's really easy to get lost. I... This is... I don't have a whole lot of patience for this game, unfortunately. But I do like it. I would play... I would play just the first few, like, levels, and then, like, once I had the game truck, I was able to play the whole game, but... Never able to get that far into it. There's a dolphin here. There he is. Thank you again for saving my turtle. I shall never forget you. And do what now? Oh, I tell a little baby dolphin. He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I say, do what now? I didn't save anything. Like, I just got here. Like, what are you saying? Ah, yes, my favorite. Ah, yeah. I'm sorry, what frame rate is this? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the yeah the levels are so intricately detailed. Echo just has a big hole in them now. And then the frame rate drops to like 15. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> you took something from the mouth of that shark? You were either a hero or one crazy dolphin. Huh? Oh! Because I've already completed this level. I've already done the big shark bit. Jesus Christ. Where does this go? Right. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Oh my god. I can, I can really make the game lag if I just do this. Oh my god. <laughs> it. I want to love this game, but it's so janky. It's beautifully, like, masterfully crafted, and it's got this rich world, but then it runs at 15 FPS, and... The storyline is really awesome, but then it runs at 15 FPS, and, like, the controls are, like, hard on the stupid controller. And I'm back at the beginning because I don't know these fucking levels! I want to show the big shark off, but I don't think I'm going to. Right, here's the different acts. Isle of Tranquility, Man's Nightmare, Dolphin's Nightmare, and Domain of the Enemy. Kind of neat. Yellow shirt god. I'm gonna give you the yellow shit god. <laughs> That's my opinion. Oof. Alright, anyway, Echo the Dolphin, uh, good game. I, I, I appreciate it. I don't love it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll actually, like, play this game to, like, start and finish, but... Like, I'm gonna... It's it's one of those games where it's just, you need a guide with you. You cannot play it on your own. It's kind of like the originals, actually. You know, for the Genesis. Okay, up, up next. Uh, Speed Devils. Uh, we got another Ubisoft game this time. Uh, this is another one of those games that I got in the eBay collection and just never played. So I have no idea if this game's any good. However, it's a racing game on the Dreamcast. Uh, it's the only it's the only traditional racing game that I have and that I know of on the Dreamcast. So, you know, not barring the big one. Like, I don't have Daytona USA, but I, I have played it. But, you know, but there's not many third-party ones, is what I'm trying to say. Huh? So, Speed Devils. Never played this one. This, this, this will be interesting. I'm kind of excited. Like, the back of the box looks really good. Ah, yeah! Oh, my.
And this game could be really good, or it could be kind of poopy. Don't know. Holy shit. Loudest game on the earth. Okay, that's not true. It is pretty loud, though. I'm noticing a trend here with uh, betting. Yeah, speed devils. Yeah, the devil's in my dick. Oh, want to see that car? Oh, beautiful. Hell yeah. Yeah, crusty FMVs. You know, the FMVs are so crusty, like, I can tell on my fucking CRT. Uh, I'm sorry, are we having multiple attracts here? Like, usually you get cut from one attract to, like, the title screen. Why am I getting a Mario Kart vibe from this? Is it the music? It's the music. It's gotta be the music. What? <laughs> why is- why is the music sound like Mario Kart 8? <laughs> okay, now it doesn't. You know, that's a little ironic considering the game came, came out when? Oh, gee, I don't know, 1999. Uh, are we... I don't want to skip these intros, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Whoa, holy shit. Okay, so the game's not just all, like, serious speeding, it's it's got a bit, a bit of wackiness to it, I see. Ah, yeah, I see. Hey, look, aliens! We got Alamouse! I repeat, Alamouse have been spotted. Is that the Hollywood sign? Holy shit! Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna skip. I, how much fucking FMV do you need? So is it made by Ubisoft? Now that's a title screen. Whoa. <laughs> now those, now those are sound effects. <laughs> what is? What? Eh, okay. Okay, brake accelerate. I kind of expected that. Steer right, steer left. Handbrake is... why? Why, though? Okay, nitro. Shift up and shift down? Oh, no. I'm noticing, like, a, a trend here with Dreamcast games where you gotta, like... Even if the jump pack's selected and, like, installed, it won't work until you turn it on in the options. You know, like most modern consoles, if it, even the ones with optional like rumble packs, like the N64, a lot of those games, if it detects the rumble pack, it just uses it immediately. Like not here, you gotta like actually go and turn it on. It's weird. Okay, change views, rear view, rear view is right, left, change views. What? What? Oh, I see. Okay, nitro shift up, shift down, pause. Start is pause, everybody. Soft reset. <laughs> okay. Anyway, arcade. Let's take a look at how this game plays. Interesting UI decisions, by the way. I... I ooh. Atlantis. That's pretty cool. I can change skins with the triggers. Which is great because it takes like a full minute for for like each skin to load. There we go. Pirate. Okay, okay, what do we got for skins here? Oh yeah, make oh yeah, big big shit. Big brown shit car. <laughs> okay, I I like the car, but like don't don't give your like cool custom car like a brown coat of paint. It, no. I think I'm gonna go with the pirate. 
It's like car. Right, uh, we want automatic transmission because I am a pleb. Oh. Okay. Weather. Nitro checkpoints. Okay, Hollywood, Mexico, Aspen Summer, Nevada, Canada Autumn, Aspen Winter, Louisiana, which is locked, I guess, Canada Light Winter, Canada Heavy Winter, Hollywood Disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hollywood Disaster. Are you, you, know, you know, that's just standard operation. <laughs> Louisiana Tornado. Holy shit. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to nice music, by the way, during the uh, title screen. Let's go to Nevada. <laughs> what was that like reverse ass like sounding? Uh, <laughs> like that was just a car horn playing backwards. You know, it's like a like a reverse like uh, like cymbal hit. Just sounds like, you know, <laughs> like it sounds cool, but like you can't do that with everything. Right, Nevada. Again, I have no idea how this game is. I've never played it before, never seen anything about it. I just have it in my collection. This is the game I was really curious about because it's the only other racing game for the Dreamcast that I know of. And one that I have. Oh, baby. Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry. Is them very primitive lighting effects? I'll take it. Alright. Cool. Alright, here we go. Wow, it's, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised at the lighting effects. That's kind of cool. I forgot about the nitro. Oh my. Right. Going downhill. Oh, this isn't too bad so far. Kind of surprised at the, at, the, at the lighting effects. I mean, yeah, they're they're very primitive, but I didn't expect to see anything like it, you know? So far, not bad controls, though. So, I know this is supposed to be aliens! Yeah, aliens! Wow, that was janky. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, if we're going 100 and like, 190 miles per hour, it's, uh, sure doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I love it when racing games, like, exaggerate, you know? It's like, yeah, you're going 100, 190 miles per hour. And it's like, yeah, yeah, you don't think so, buddy. Ah, nice loop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, boy. Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> so I wonder if this is an Ubisoft in-house. Ah, uh, okay, I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but it's getting a little glitchy here and there. I wonder if this is a port. Okay, that's a hard right. And that's a hard left. Now this is Vegas. <laughs> Very uh, interesting music, by the way. Now this looks like like Vegas. Kind of thinking like if we're going to Nevada, you know, they should surely have some Vegas here and there. Okay, no, we're we're going like over 150. Like we, like those kind of turns are not possible. I do like how the speedometer has like that trail thing. Like the, like, like the after image, it's, 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 it's kind of neat looking. Okay, bye. Boy, the AI is, uh... Dry perfectly, don't they? And I was far ahead for a while, what happened? Oh, I guess I just have a ton of these then. 
Okay, it's 13, but I guess I gotta last the whole three laps. Okay, well, this isn't bad. This isn't... This, is, this isn't the worst racing game I've ever played. Oh, shit, like, look, the laps change. This isn't, like, this isn't the best racing game I've ever played, but it's not terrible either. You know. This isn't Big Rigs. <laughs> but then again, nothing is bad as bad as fucking Big Rigs. You know, this isn't, like, this isn't Asphalt Urban GT. Oh, my God. And the Halo Mounds have left the building. I don't, I don't, I don't think planes work that way, but okay. I make sure I don't slam in anything this time. Like the car! Oh my god, yeah, oh, yeah, that's... goody. That's some good animation right there. Back into Vegas. Remind me to pick a daytime level next time. Mm -hmm. And I completely forgot what button was the fucking handbrake button because you don't stick it onto Y. That is a really good loop. Fastest lap. Wee. Well, the rumble works. Works well. So yeah, it's just. Remember earlier, like I was, I was saying, like nightmare creatures. Like I wasn't sure if the, if the rumble was just broken. No, it was the game. It's just they didn't bother like putting good, uh, good rumble on the game. That's all. Venus, yes, tech Venus. I agree. Boy, I, my finger is getting tired from holding this, uh... Oh, the accelerator down. Dream, Dreamcast triggers are, like, surprisingly, uh... Oh, boy. Surprisingly slippery, is what I was trying to say. For the Halo Bounds got me. Ah, uh, nah, not... Not the best racing game. I mean, it's kind of mediocre in a way. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh, Gaiden. Yeah, just sudden stop. And again, who puts the handbrake button on why? I only have one nitro left and should probably hold on to it. Oh, I hope the look at this motherfucker. Well, I'm seeing the speed, but I don't know about the devils. I'm not sure about this one. I it's okay. This one's alright. It's It's kinda mediocre actually. Like, it doesn't really do anything, like, besides, like, the fact that you only get a certain amount of, like, nitros at the beginning. It's the only, it's the only thing I can think of. But other than that, it's just kind of plain, you know? It's like, it's like eating saltine crackers by themselves. It's like, yeah, it's a cracker, it, it tastes fine, but man, I wish it had more on it. Yeah, I did it. Wowee. Like, I don't know. I kind of expected more from this game. You know, like, the intro showed, like, all these cars, and they looked neat, and then, like, there's tornadoes and aliens, and... Okay, uh, press the A button to enter your name. This is cool. Now you want my name? Here's my name. Since I can have more... Enough characters for this. Ah, 
Alright, let's see. Um, do this. I do like the UI here, though. That's cool. There we go. That's my name, Venus Lol. Cool. <laughs> That's now just saved in my SD, uh, my VMU. Oh man. <laughs> even the, even the. Ah, huh? oh. <laughs> fastest slaps. The fastest lap goes to Venus Lol. There's a lot of cars, though. Give them that. I'm sorry, that's the sound effect for I can't choose it? Yeah, whip. Hey, guys, what did they, hey guys, want to see, like, the average um, episode of Johnny Test? All right, here we go. You ready? Wow, there's a sound effect limit. I can't even do this joke properly. Remind me to never do do, do the mic thing. I mean the camera thing again. I keep I keep whipping this thing with my foot. There's a lot of cars to unlock. I'm gonna stick with pirate. Yeah. Gonna do one more uh, race. Let's see Hollywood. Uh, let's do Mexico. I don't even know if I'll finish this one. It depends on how long it is. Yeah, this game's kind of bland. It's kind of bland. I, I expected more. I'm a little disappointed. I'd say if you look for racing games with a Dreamcast, you can't go wrong with Daytona. But this isn't Daytona. It's easier than Daytona, but... Eh. There he is. Hold on, why are we all wearing like top gear like gear? Was it just my character? Hmm. Yeah, I, I I like how like racing games like you, like you can have like analog triggers and they work. But like at, at no point during the racing game are you gonna like need to be like you know, half pressing the trigger. Wow. Once again, at night. No, 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 hold on. The fuck was that? No, no more nighttime courses, goddammit. The fucking lighting is glitchy. Looks like shit. <clears throat> I must have set an option or something. Thunder. This car looks kind of neat, actually. Oh, yeah, racing stripes. Wait, why does this one just look like a big glitch? Oh, I, I, uh, that's supposed to look like that. Oh, wooden. Crazy taxi. Let's go with this car. Options, time. Question mark? I wonder, it's not. Okay, so, so races can have different time. Do you think the game is syncing the time to my Dreamcast's clock? That's insane, if true. Okay, let's have it be in the middle of the day. And raining. Checkpoints. Alright. No, no, no. Done. Oh, I didn't want Hollywood. Oh, whatever. We'll do Hollywood. Cool feature, but like, as I said, like, the fucking... The lighting is all glitchy. It's just like... Large parts of the terrain just like inexplicably just light up for no reason. Well, you saw it. No, nah, look great. What are you talking about? Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure if I even would have played this game all that much as a kid. Yeah, why is my character Mr. Top Gear? Top Mr. Gear himself. Oh, why did I choose the rain course? Ah, jeez, I can't see anything. Get 
out of here. Oh my. What is this generic, like, fast music? Oh boy. Yeah! Okay, so this race has a bit more going to it. What? Oh no. You know what would be, uh, really helpful? Like a mini-map of some kind. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's because it's Hollywood, right? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I don't even know what's happening. That, that T-Rex? Holy shit! That's awesome! See, now, I wish there was more shit like that. Hey, look, it's the famous, uh, like, uh, Hollywood star area. I can't fucking think of the name of. Boulevard Ave? What's the what's that road one road with all the Hollywood stars in Hollywood? Does anyone know? Because like I can't think of it because I'm an idiot. Also, my brain is preoccupied with like saltines and helmet cheese. Boy, GTA 5 sure looks different. <laughs> there. There's your joke. Oh my. I'm sorry, is that a big gorilla? King Kong's attacking. Help, the animatronics are on the loose. There he is. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Is it Hollywood Boulevard? Huh. <sighs> yep, this is a game. I can't... I have nothing to complain about. Like, it's not bad. It controls fine. Little, a little stiff. It's a little stiff. But, I mean, it's got, it's got decent drifting, like, it's got a nitro mechanic, um, although you only have, like, a certain number of them. It's not like Asphalt, where you do shit and you can regain it. Um, I got, I, it's, it's mediocre. It's, it's a racing game that does everything right and nothing to stand out. Again, like, <laughs> Daytona was so much better because it, it, it introduced some, like, class, it introduced some, like, you know, got some, some stuff into it. This is just, I don't know, it's kind of boring. Like, I got nothing. <laughs> like, the branding is the most unique thing about this game. Oh, God. And the levels, once in a while, show some... Like, it's, it's like... They had this grand plan of, like, this wacky racer, and they just didn't follow through. Like, you get these levels with, like, aliens and tornadoes, and, and like, like you're here, like, in, like, Hollywood, like, racing through movie sets, and there's a fucking T-Rex, but it just... It's not as cool as it could be. Like... Yeah... Like, I think if they just made the races a little bit more wackier, I think, like, the game could have been really good. Because, like, I think of, like, Blur. 
Like, it's a game that focuses on ultra-realistic racing, but at the same time, they give you Mario Star Mario Star M Mario Kart-style power-ups. So, like, you get a great balance of, like, racing, like... Like, hectic racing and, like, power-up, like, mayhem with these really awesomely designed courses, and the music is just phenomenal. Like, is I'm, I'm, playing, I'm comparing this game to Blur. Fuck off. Like, I don't know. Just buy the books. Okay, I'm gonna finish this, uh... Finish this and that's the end of it. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play second. Speed Devils! Not much else to say other than it's a game. It exists. Yeah, here's my name. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Okay, there are other racing games on the Dreamcast. Look, they, they, they show three here. Yeah, Mayhem. Suzuki All-Stair, Extreme Racing, Monaco Grand Prix, and then Speed Devils. I guess these are all by made by uh, Ubisoft. Hey, do you think they still uh, honor this buy one, get one free deal? Wait, hold on. Hold on, it says something on here. Offer expires March 31st, 2000. Guys, I think that might still be good. Like, I, does anyone want to, like, call up Ubisoft? Does anyone want to call up uh, Ubisoft and see if they still have this deal going? Is there a uh, phone number I can call? Oh, my God. The manual still has, like, the warranty. The It still has a warranty registration card. You may also register by phone. No, we're not calling them. We're not calling that number. No, no, no more calling numbers. Yes, booby soft. Yeah, that number might still work. Yeah, that's why I'm not calling it. Damn it! <laughs> I do all that and I don't even take the disc out of the fucking drive. Alright. Look, even the disc is boring. <laughs> Fuck. Speed Devils. It's a game. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Up next, uh, Crave Entertainment with Red Dog. Now, I played this game last time. On the last showcase, I played this several times on stream. Uh, this game's okay. This game's alright. It's, it's unique. And I kind of like it. Uh, it. It's also It's also difficult. Because of the of the of the wonky analog stick of the Dreamcast, it's one of those games. Ah, oh, dude, remember Crave? I'm craving some Crave. Hey, Argonaut. Huh. Yeah, Red Dog, superior firepower. It is. Is there a name for, like, this kind of branding where it's just, like, the, the letters, like, form into each other? You know, like, Pop Top had something similar, too. Did, there's no phrase for this, is there? I still have my old, uh... The vibration is on, actually, by, by default. Fire, shield, yeah, I remember. Challenge missions? No, we're not doing those. View Red Dog Technology. Of course, I've, I've unlocked... Like, like, like uh, you, you, you unlock better weapons as you play through the game. Yeah. This is just one of those random games that nobody remembers, that I'll, only I remember, but I, I remember like having a lot of fun with it. I only made it to this mission. Yeah, this game gets hard. <laughs> I do remember that. I also remember how uh, how it's one of the few games that actually utilizes the analog triggers of the Dreamcast. So I'm not going to play this too much. All right, so this is what I mean about the triggers. Uh, so like you could just gently like pull them, and the and the and the, and the, and the car moves slowly. Although if you pull them too gently, it. Uh, I don't know, the tires just sort of spin. 
Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm going. Here I go. And there it goes. Yeah. And if you double tap, you can, like, do this this maneuver. Yeah, the car itself is... Well, I mean, just look at it. Holy shit. This, this thing's like a donut machine. Boy, howdy. Surprisingly, pretty good physics for, like, a game, like, on the Dreamcast, actually. Like, the, the car actually, like, bounces about in, like, such a way where it's, you know, feasible. And, of course, this is what I mean about the difficulty. Like, imagine, like, uh, like doing precision sharpshooting with this son of a bitch. And you're probably wondering, well, there's no right analog stick. How do you strafe? I'll show you. You hold both triggers. Yeah, this is another one of those games where it, like, it really, like, would benefit, like, having two analog sticks. The Dreamcast did actually have two analog sticks, didn't it? But it was only, like, a, on a certain model. And as a result, not many games really supported it. I do know there's an option in Demuel, and it, uh, some games will actually not work with, with it enabled. I do kind of like the music. It's, um... Like, like the music is that kind of dynamic music where it'll just transform over time. Yeah, just... Yeah, the aiming in this game is a little... Oh, it's... It's, it's uh... It's one of those games where it's like, like, the, uh... The aiming also, like changes where you turn and it's always snaps back to the center and it's like uh like with a really good analog stick this would be fine but it's like yeah. I I don't know again this game would benefit with like a, a second analog stick Otherwise, I remember having a lot of fun with this one. It's not as exciting as, like, other games in my collection, but it had some cool ideas, and it, and it performed well. Uh, the first few levels aren't anything to write home about. Uh, the game is hard, though. I do remember that. Uh, not this level, but, like, some of the, the, like, the later levels would become extremely difficult, mostly because of the analog stick thing, as I said. Yeah, the Dreamcast's weird analog. And then shit like this happens. Ah, yes, my favorite, how I can't attack because I can't see him. Uh-huh. Now this is fair and balanced. Get me out of here. There we go. Yeah, it's... You need to remember, this is early 3D, so... Ugh. It's a neat little power-up. Yeah, this game's not terrible. It's okay. It's another one of those, eh, could be better. However, it it's different in the sense that it is it's sort of its own genre. There's not many vehicular tank games that are like this, where it's like... Yeah. Oh, boy. Got here. Did I kill him? Nope, didn't kill something. Can you burn up in the lava? Yes, it does massive damage to you until you get the fuck out of it. Like, I... Do you see my health part? At least, like, 30% of that was, was because I fell in the lava. I also like how the bullets, like, will actually put bullet holes on the walls and they'll persist. You know, not many games from back then did that. Cool enemy design, actually. Like, I remember the enemy design in this game being pretty... Pr pretty spectacular. Okay, maybe not... It's, prob it's probably the wrong word to use, but, you know. Yeah, 
I'm gonna fucking die here if I'm not careful. And if you collect energy, you can hold Y to charge up your shot and then, like, make your machine guns machine gun faster. Yeah! And that's just level one. Like, you, you could charge it up to, like, even higher. Even higher. Fucking Remlazar. I wonder how, like, the creators of Remlazar, like, feel that, like, their creation just being memed, like, decades later. Like, it's either they're... they're it, this, there's two ways, you know, like creators feel about that kind of shit. Either they're, like, flattered or... not flattered. Like, I don't think... Like, I can't think off the top ahead of a, a Red Letter Media ever getting, like, actual back backlash because of a, of a best of the worst episode. But, uh... Yeah, I can imagine for, like, some, like, like some of those people, they're like, oh god, I was part of that. Oh boy. You know? Like, if anything, it dredges up old memories. What did me think of that? Ow, oh boy. Yeah, physics. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, yes, I see. Anyways, this is the boss. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh boy. Not oh, that. Get away from me. That's what I mean about the aiming. Ah! <laughs> I was too focused on defense. I, sh I should just kept shooting. I remember it was actually, actually, like, pretty hard to get, like, a, a decent score in this game, too. Alright, so I think that's all I showed off last time, but, uh, here, I'm gonna show off one more. Green Candy Donks, Arctic Research, Underground Hydro Generator. Okay, let's do this mission I haven't done before, just for hoo-hahs. Yeah, this is just like, like, as far as I know, this game was never ported to anything else. I'm pretty sure. So this is just like one of those, like, random exclusives that just come out for a console and then it is immediately forgotten. Like, I feel like I'm one of the few people that actually remember this fucking thing. That's crazy. So I've never played this level. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I love how it's like you can just run the soldiers over.
Right, that's not the way to go. I am in, I am I am on a time limit though. Fuck off. Oh my god, there's mechs. What do I mean? You just don't see these kind of games anymore. You know, like I I mean the kind of games where they just like have this unique idea and they take risks. Like, it's much more rare these days, like, but like games like this were where Diamond does it back during the Dreamcast days, which is probably why they didn't sell well. But hey, you know. Gee whiz, I wonder what I should shoot at. Oh. <laughs> I love these futuristic vehicles and they're just like a little humdinger. Uh-huh. Red Dog Research Facility. Escort scientists to safe zone. Escort the armored vehicle to a safe bunker along the path lined by the green flares. Destroy any alien resistance that gets in your way. Okie dokie. Wait, I forgot there's like different. Oh boy, howdy. Now it's an escort mission. I remember why I, I didn't want to do this mission anymore. Because it turns into like a timed thing. You know, from a timed thing into a fucking escort mission. But that doesn't seem too bad so far. It's like, just keep the, the fucking thing safe for it. Oh my god. This fucking analog stick, I swear to god. Oh my. Yeah, awkward controls. Yeah, goody. Why, I, I, I need those. Okay, I, I, I think the vehicle's in trouble. Oh no. No, please! <laughs> oh, I gotta do all that over again. Eject, eject, escort mission detected. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. You saw what happened, right? It, if you're not there protecting his ass, he just keeps going. Ooh, I remember now why I never beat this game or got past this mission. I said, fuck that. <laughs> oh, it's all coming back to me, says the blind man pissing against the wind. I'm doing it. I'm beating this right here. I don't give a shit. I always wanted to see, like, what, what the next mission of Red Dog would be like. Oh my god. It's so weird backing up because... You know how in a, in a regular vehicle, when you back up, you have to go reverse? Not Red Dog. When you back up, it, like, you know, it's it's not how you expect. Stop shooting at that thing, please. That's my... That, my baby. Yeah, lagging. No. You. Oh my god, please. Nope. Nope. God, I'm taking the damage. Oh my god, this analog is fucking me up, man. I'm telling you. Funky music, though. All right, now we're now we're in Mech Warrior. Oh man, I'd love to play Mech Warrior sometime for the stream. Are you kidding me? No, no, please.
charge! Eh, <laughs> fuck you. Make sure, like, nothing else is gonna be here. I'm sorry, did I just hurt the truck by accidentally tapping him? How long is this? Oh, no more, please. They inverted the reverse controls, yes. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Nope. No, please, no kill. I got a shield, but you can't shoot and shield at the same time. Oh, no. Die, please. Nope. Well, healing items would be really great right about now. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, God, I think I did it. Please tell me that's it. Protect bunker until dropship arrives. Oh. I'm reading all that. Oh. Now there's another timer. Holy crap. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh no. How do I fight him? Where is he? Oh, camera. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, yes, just taking a big piss. It's a checkpoint, at least, but you realize that you only get three lives per stage. What the fuck do you do? How do you take this thing out? You shoot its feet? Yeah, feet. I, there is. Oh, okay. You gotta shoot the thing in the back. Boy, that would have been useful information to have, like, ever. <sighs> Tell you to do it. Oh no, how, how much of this nonsense am I going to have to do now before the game just lets me go? Oh, fuck off. You and your 90 degree turns, I swear to god. So, I have to, like, wait out the timer, is that it? Is it? Is that what we're doing, game? Is that the rules? Well, I guess it's not too bad. I mean, it's like Independence Day. Like, once they figure out how to bring down the alien craft, I mean, you know, it's just... just a matter of actually doing it. And not dying. You know, from the awkward controls. Boy. Oh, there's another one. No. 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 No, please. But I, I killed him! Look, I killed him! That means I did it, right? Right, so that was Red Dog. Um, it's an alright game, but um, at some point uh, the game sucks ass, and then you can just uh, move on. So we're moving on. Up next is a palate cleanser. Uh, that I like to call fucking Power Stone. If you've never seen Power Stone, this was the standout game for the Sega Dreamcast. Made by Capcom. <laughs> Extremely famous. <laughs> this this game is, like, legitimately fucking awesome, like, by the way. It's, it's, it's a unique, like, fighter. <coughs> Excuse me, hello. Like, with the intention... Of being like a top, like an isometric sort of deal, it's it's definitely unique. I've never seen another fighter quite like this. But yeah, we're. Uh, now I have played this. Uh, to Power Stone War. I think I accidentally skipped the uh, the intro, so we're gonna we're gonna try that again. Mm, I see. I uh, I hit the Dreamcast a little too fast there. 
Anyway, yeah, Power Stone is very good. Now, I have played this game before. It's, uh, it's excellent. Yeah, this is what I skipped by accident. In the 19th century, people are strong believers of superstition and legend. Adventurers seek the world for fortune, glory, and a legendary treasure which has the power to make dreams come true. That treasure is known as the Power Stone. Power Stone! Falcon! Wang Tang! Wait, what? Ryoma! Gunrock! Rogue! Jack! Oh, already, I love this. Ayami! Galuda! Nice editing, asshole. This is all done in engine. Power Stone War! The 1976 LA Lakers! Mike Myers! Thanks, Nick. Hmm. Anyway, this is this is this is this is one of those arcade games. What? <laughs> I I love the Japanese dude trying to say like English. Anyway, this is one of those uh, like arcade games that was like ported to like the Dreamcast, and it just like re retains all the good stuff. Anches. Oh, we're fighting the uh, the bandage dude first. I'm sorry, what was his name? Vadru? What'd you say? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the world of Power Stone. Oh, it's all in Japanese. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah this game is absolutely, like, great. Oh, no! It's all about, like, collecting these, uh... Like, the titular, like, power... Like, the power stone-like crystals. And then, like, once you collect three, you can level up. Oh, no! God, I, I forget how to, like, pick up items. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh god, he he, he and, and he leveled up. This is not good. Like you gain like special like abilities. Oh my god. <laughs> Flatten him. All right, there we go. Now I got it. Yeah, camera. Hello. Oh my god. Fucking Falcon just gets a mech suit and fires lasers. I mean, rockets. Oh, yeah. This game is a lot of fun. I just... It's been... It's been literal years since I've last played it, though. I mean... I mean, did any, any of you see, like, the, uh... Like, the Power Stone, like, save on my VMU? There's a reason for that. And the reason was I needed space. Oh god, fucking got that. Oh no. I like how the idea is just you beat the power stone out of your opponent. All right, here we go. KO. So that was level one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe I should learn the controls a bit. Londo. Wait, am I fighting myself? Falcon. Falcon. Yeah, it's totally a Japanese dude trying, like, to do the English. Act like, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Oh, 
No, no, no! Really? Right off the bat. Oh, is that is that how we're playing? Wowie! Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that's lovely. Come back here, you. Fuck you. <laughs> I just love the announcer. Oh no! Yes! Oh no! Oh fucking hell, dude! Nope, it's my turn now. How do you do like that super special move though? Okay, so he's still got the third one. Ah! Oh! Holy crap. I was like a flaming corpse there for a second. I like how, like, the, the words Power Stone is, like, on the architecture, even. Yeah, how do you do, like, that special move? This is the only move I, I, I know how to do in this in this mode, is just, like, spam, spam the attack button. I mean, it works. Oh, you bitch. Nope. N fuck me, man. Nope. How the hell do you do that? I have the manual here. I should probably read it, you know? Yeah, get him. Fuck him up. No idea how to play this game. It just like shit happens and like <laughs> it's a lot of fun, but man, I don't know what I'm doing. Nope. Oh my god. Oh, the power stones are so OP, but like you can e you can also sort of like easily just avoid them. Ah! Wowie. Ah yes, I see. Get knocked out at level two. Yeah, that's good. Holy crap, look at the look at the pigeon there the way it walks. Okay, uh Power Fusion. Okay, I'm just wondering how to like actually play this fucking game. Okay, X button, punch, push or throw item, kick, use weapon. Alright. Punch plus kick. Pick up weapon. A button is just jump. Alright. Anything else? Okay. Game mode's arcade. Match play. Alright. Power stones. Uh, collect the power stones during battle. As you get more stones, your character's abilities grow more powerful. Collect all three stones, red, blue, and yellow, and your character will transform into a raging super being, raging super being capable of executing deadly power fusion moves. The power ch change continues until the power gauge runs out. Power drive. The power gauge decreases when you use a power drive, punch, or kick during a power change. Or get attacked by opponents. Hmm. Best jump plus kick or jump plus punch during a power turn. You can... Okay, that's how you do that. Alright, so... It's not too bad, actually. So that's how they're doing those moves. You gotta, like, put, put, hit punch and kick at the same time. Alright, let's try this again. I wanted to exit. Of, cor uh, of course, the B button just brings you right back in anyway.
Oh my. Are you ready? <laughs> Boy, it's just I love how like like level one. Level one! Yeah, this is this is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Level one gameplay here. Oh my! That's how you do that move. Holy shit! <laughs> it's like how Falcon turns into like fucking like like common raider. What is this shit? Oh, for God's sake! No, no, no! no you absolute bitch! Kick your ass. Mm hmm Yeah? Yeah? Not again. Oh my god. Yeah, cool. Yeah, level one. I'm sorry, it, does the game default to, like, fucking hardcore or something? I don't remember the game being this hard. Holy shit. Get my ass kicked here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, shooter. Shooter. Nope, not, not allowed to pull that again. Whew. This game is fun, but it's, you know... It, it's... you could definitely feel the arcadeness of it. You know, it's not fucking around. Yeah, just a, a lot of soul in this one. I... <laughs> I'm I'm having a lot of fun with it, even though I'm getting my ass like floored. I, I kind of wonder if there's an option to like reduce the difficulty because I I think it's. Remember how I said like 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 no matter like what game it is, like I just I suck at fighting games like. Even like party games like this, like the only one I was ever all right in was like Smash Brothers. Like, there's, there's no, like, dodge button! How is he doing that? Oh, my. Yeah. I'm sorry, how is he doing this? How is he doing that? Is there a dodge move? I didn't see a dodge move. Wanna play Dirty Boy? Nope. Nope, sir. Oh, I didn't even need the Power Stones that time. Alright. How to get a perfect on him, Jesus. Fight all time! Oh no! Oh fuck, God's like, no, no. Oh no, not again. Yeah! Nope. Oh my god! Nope, 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 nope. Ah, fuck me, man. Still alive! Oh, fuck you! Excellent! Did you hear that? Excellent! <laughs> 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 
Fuck me, man. Okay, so it's right in the middle. Alright, well, anyway, yeah, that was Power Stone. <laughs> it's a good game, but as I said, just me and fighting games, man. Never mix. Yeah. Hey, Power Stone's always excellent. Now, are you guys ready for, like, my most expensive Dreamcast game? It was. But uh, Power Stone 2 that I have was apparently worth 170 bucks at one point. Complete in box. Uh, the game has gone down in price since then. My most expensive Dreamcast game is still... Oh my god, excuse me. It's currently Skies of Arcadia at, at a whopping 180 bucks. The last, the last time I checked Game Eye. Yeah, so many Dreamcast games are worth quite a bit of money. And again, like, I got Power Stone 1 and 2 on, like, that fucking eBay deal for, like, I, I forget how much we paid, but it was, like, 50 bucks. I don't know what it is about this one particular game that's worth so fucking much. How do I check Game Eye? Okay, first of all, you, you get the game on your phone, you add your games to your, your, your profile, and it automatically gets the price for you. Yeah, it's only available on mobile right now, Tech. You gotta use your phone. So already, like, Power Stone 2 seems to have uh, a little bit better production values. Without warning, a dark cloud fills the sky, and then a huge shadow blankets the entire world with roar that shakes the entire planet. Suddenly, a mysterious floating castle appears out of nowhere. In the blink of an eye, the Power Stone heroes are caught and transported to the floating castle. What will happen to our heroes? Welcome to the Power Stone world. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's see how this is. Also, I just looked at, like, the W in Power Stone, and I thought it was a big cock. They don't have anyone, anyone else? Adventure. Hmm. Single player mode only. <laughs> I'm going to drop it down to three, at least. Quick continue. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Go ahead and save. Cool. So, uh, I'd imagine it's just like the original. No challenger. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so it looks to be like the same characters. Um, except there's a few more this time. Falcon. BGM ball all the way up. All right, so what are we doing? Oh, I can actually move. Uh, yeah, this one looks cool. Yeah, a yeah. Solid beginning may lead to a perfect ending. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> well, already this is way different. Like it's gonna. Remember. Don't miss the elevator, like or it, else you'll be sorry. Not quite. Like this feels like a, like it, it looks and feels just like Power Stone, but bigger. Also, okay, so there's a different guy this time. I am going to miss the- OH NO! Uh, isn't there supposed to be music though, or am I going crazy? Yeah, bye, asshole! <laughs> so does that mean I win? Oh, fuck. Oh, there's the music. Okay. Next stage. Oh, okay. Okay, how about this one? 
This is pretty good. You are the champion. Keep it up. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen like I didn't even realize they had a Power Stone tune. Don't forget to take advantage of those subs. Oh my. Yeah, power pull extend. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> when did this game become Dragon Ball? Oh my! <laughs> Powerful. He's dropping coins. Oh no no! Give, give me that stone back. I'm trying to steal my stones. Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> oh, that is, uh, that is vaguely... Well, I'm not gonna say what I think, but, you know. Like, this definitely feels like a more polished Power Stone. I guess you could say the stone is a bit more polished in this one. <laughs> like, it doesn't... Like, it's less arcadey, just more more combat. I, I don't know how to describe it. it yeah, it, it feels like they had time to polish it. Same frantic action, but it just feels better. Like, I don't know how to describe it. And, not, and I'm not just saying that because I, I, I seem to be winning more this time. <laughs> like, they made... they balanced the game better. There we go. That's that's hey, what I wanted to say. Don't go soft now. Your journey has only just begun. Oh, trust me. I am nothing but hard right now. I'm sorry, what? There's boss battles? Huh. That's kind of surprising. I didn't expect there to be boss battles in this. Yeah, this is definitely not the same game as, uh, as the original. Oh, God. This is a freaking min minigun. Oh, my God. Oh, no! Okay. Sure, I should have seen that one coming. And I still can't really dodge that one. Okay. I still miss the original one where he's just like, yeah! What what killed me? It wasn't the laser. What the fuck attacked me? Try again. Fight for your freedom. Escape from the castle. Let's try someone else. How about that Jack character look fun? Hey, don't go soft now. Your journey has only just begun. What a massive enemy. But it's I love the way he runs. Come on. Oh, no. oh, how do you avoid that fucking attack, man? I can't. 
Yeah! I have no idea what I'm doing. Powerful! Oh, there's like a little dog down there. That, that's probably what killed me. Okay, the laser got me that time. Alright, listen. This is a good game, but like, as I said, like, I just, I can't enter these fucking fighting games to save my goddamn life. Zero out of ten game shit, moving on. It's a good game. It's a good game. I just can't can't do it. It's like I was like, oh no, Sam can't play the game that he literally never played before in his entire life. Wow, I, it's a shock. I know. Trust me, I'm just as surprised as you are. So what we have next is a game called Armada. It's another Windows CE game. Uh, this game is kind of neat. I think there's a PC port of this. I'm not entirely sure. Remember this game was pretty cool. It was one of those games that like so you can imagine the celebration on Earth when finally you received the first proof of something out there. It's like an action it's RPG, but in space it was the weirdest combination. But yeah, this game that was advertised like a four player RPG. Got some neat ideas going for it, actually. Very weird opening. Like, are those portals or all those eyeballs? Oh, just kidding. They're their planets. unique game this is um i remember like it, it's it's like a weird blend of genres it's like a top-down space shooter that's also an rpg <laughs> like I, I i know that sounds really weird but you'll understand once i start playing hey run off how's it going what's the rarest game you own any console uh probably skies of arcadia uh for for dreamcast followed by skies of arcadia legends for dreamcast followed by uh, power stone 2 According to the prices, going by like game eye and its prices, I'll I'll check again. Hold on. Let's see here, game eye. This guy's Kitty is that rare tech, especially legends. Okay, currently, the okay the rarest game I own is Skies of Arcadia Legends, just boxed. I don't even own the manual. One hundred forty bucks, followed by Power Stone Two at one twenty six, complete in box. Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast, complete in box at 96. Followed by Splatterhouse 2, just the cartridge for the Genesis. Alicia Dragoon, f complete in box for the Genesis. Sonic Adventure 2 at $91 for the Dreamcast. Castlevania Order of Ecclesia is worth $90. Bucks. Conker's Bad Fur Day is $87. Like, I... All these older games are worth a lot of money these days, and like, I just, I can't part with any of them. Was the most valuable one? Skies of Arcadia Legends. Just boxed, by the way. The game in the box. I don't have the manual. Anyway, moving on. This is Metro. I mean, this is... This is Armada. And apparently I actually have a save here. Okay, well, let's load that. 
Yeah, this feels like a... Blue group? Did I try to, like, t type in blue group? Anyway, uh, this is, uh... Like, you can choose, like, different, like, races and shit. And they all have their, you know, their, their own unique abilities. And it's like a four-player co-op game. Welcome. Anyway, here's our here's our motto. It's a it's a it, it, I wasn't kidding when I said it's a top-down RPG. Oops. Peace is a never-ending struggle. You can talk to like NPCs. You go out, complete quests, that kind of shit. I enjoy blasting the Armada. It helps me relax. I think I completed the game, actually. I find the wormhole at these coordinates to be a fun ride. Yeah, okay. Patrol the Marauder world and keep them oppressed. We must never again be defeated. Yeah, so I think I already beat the game, but uh, the you know. The best thing to come out of the Armada War was still let you play. Pods. Maybe the Armada just sees us as an energy source. The Marauders are proof that the Armada does not attack everybody. I wonder if life is but a game. If so, thanks for playing. <laughs> Clever. Okay, let's see here. I enjoy blasting the Armada. Here we talk to you. is a never-ending struggle. Now I can put more time into my restaurant business. You should stop by sometime and I'll treat you to a nice dinner. Uh, forget how to, like, exit. Alright, you push up. Yeah, I remember this game was like, it, it's a lot of fun, but it's weird. Alright, how do I, like, land? There we go. Right, there's like shops where you can buy and sell items. Yeah, it's it, it's weird. It's like a space RPG. Percent of your energy. Hmm. Cuba 4 is like 300. I am surprised. Yeah, Cuba 4 is extremely rare. I kind of wish I had it. So so here's the gameplay. You can see you can see up in the right, oh, there's bad guys, and you just like shoot at them. And then like you. You collect credits and bask in the loudest game on planet Earth. All right, that's an ally. Holy shit! And just like the, the Armada, like lag, like like comes after you. And you just explore the universe. Rally to me, all those who would fight the Armada. And there's no like level scaling either, so like you can very easily find yourself in a situation where you, uh, you know, are gonna be like overwhelmed. Like, like I'm just kicking all sorts of ass because like I I I, I beat the game. But I always wonder what this game would, would be like with other people. Join me. My mom having to drive like three different shops to find a used copy. Yeah, because it's just really rare. So like you own like like one of the rarest games out there, period, tech. Like Cuba 4 is a really good find. And it's a good game to boot, so there's that. This is why I uh This is kinda of why I advocate I, I like piracy, because like otherwise I'd have to shell out for 300 fucking bucks in order to play like 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 Cuba 4 legit. As opposed to just, you know, downloading it and playing it. Like, you know, it's there is a good, like, me, purpose. If you, are brave. you know, because not every game is like, oh, just spend 20 bucks, asshole. No, 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 no. I thought this game would be rare, but no, nah, it's worth like 15 bucks. 
<laughs> they, they made a lot of... They either made a lot of this game, or not enough people played it enough to give a shit. Like, I'm not sure which. I, but I enjoyed it. Join me, if you are brave. Oh my god, we're going to 14,000? Crazy ba crazy bastard. What's my, uh... What's my... Okay, I'm at level 18. Yeah. Warplins. Energy battery. Okay. Yeah, the game's a little jank, but I mean, it's... Like, again, like, like, how many games can you think of that look like this? How many? Talk, dude, like, like... I just, like... It's so f fucking weird and, and unique. It's like part RPG, part, like, space combat game. I... It's so fucking neat, like, that's why I kind of like this game, even though it's really weird and janky. Like, you can tell, like, it's not, like, completely there. It's still a lot of fun. It's not a reasonable price to play the game. Argument against privacy and piracy. Pri 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 oh, hold up. Not to mention the fact that in a few decades, physical copies won't be readable anymore. Yeah, that's another thing, too, yeah. Oh my. I didn't even realize I was that low. Holy shit. Join me. If you can, can I like hold on. Entropy can increases damage. Okay, can I like warp lens? Increases shot rate damage and salvage from dead armada. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. And, and, and I wish that this was a twin stick because I can't move and fuck. Oh, I have lives, right? I forgot about that. I can't move and shoot at the like. The, I can't move backwards and shoot. Like, like there's no like way to do that. Optical media has a finite lifespan. Not just optical media, but all physical media. Cartridges will break down, for example. It, it may take a little longer, and it depends on like. To manufacturing, but like they will all eventually die. Oh my god, this is chaos. Ah, yeah, sound effects. So, do hard drives we archive data on, but we can continually back up the new drives? Yeah, yeah. You need a warrior. We must be out like somewhere. Bad because like fucking like everything's after me right now. Get my ass kicked, Jesus! Mass will probably survive for centuries as long as it's not left to be taken by the elements. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm just gonna warp out of here. Is there a map? There's a return home button. Doesn't really show me where I am, huh? Hmm. I kind of always wonder what this game would be like, like, online. I think there is uh, an Armada online that plays just like this for the computer. Could be wrong on that. Hey, you guys want to see if there's a, uh... If there's an edge to the universe? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know about edge to the universe, but uh, I, I went far enough for the game to load. What's this fucking planet doing way out here? What is it about Windows CE games just having to stop the drive motor? So here we are on uh, planet Fuck Off Azores. Oh my. Level 30? Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to be out here yet. Oh, uh, yeah, really. Oh, my. Yeah, definitely think I'm not meant to be out here just yet. So, like, I completed the main story, but, like, holy crap. There's still things out here. Jesus! Armor. 
So there's no level scaling, and if you go too far, you just kind of, like, get killed. So I forgot what happens when you lose all your lives. I think it just kicks you back t to the center of the universe. Yep, that's exactly what it does. Maybe the armada just sees us as an energy source. All right, let's see how let's see how far it takes to the uh, to get to the center of the universe. All right. Or the edge of the universe, I should say. Uh, so how are you guys doing? Very, very weird game this is. As I said, I think there's a PC version called Armana Online. If anyone wants to look that up. Yeah, yeah, you're, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. This, this game feels like some, like, older sci-fis, you know, like... Does anyone else get, like, a very fringe Babylon 5, like, feel from this game? Does anyone even know what I'm talking about? Who here remembers Babylon 5 besides me? Bro, probably not many people. You guys remember Babylon 5? It was actually alright. Fucking special effects for dog shit, though. <laughs> ah, yes, I see. Just, uh... That just took away, like, most of my armor. Prepare for ramming speed! Yeah, so the further out I go, like, the more, like, red it seems, seems to be. Okay, well, that doesn't show me anything. Armor repair. Cool! Get me out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go... Am I gonna go out so far that I'm just gonna get, like, one-shotted? Way to the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I, I don't. I, I think there is an edge because, like, as you saw, like, I it loaded in space, which means there is a hard edge, and uh, we did see on a planet there is an edge. You hey, don't stop. You're gonna get wrecked. I, I wonder, like, what the levels of some of these assholes are. Kind of curious. Hold on, I'm gonna stop real quick for this one. Oh, you know, just 34 in like two shots, and most of my armor's gone. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. Nah, that's fine. So I'm only like level 18. And most of the enemies have just been replaced with giant asshole versions. Ah, good. I didn't even see that one. Okay, I'm gonna go try to like repair my armor here. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. Get me out of here. <laughs> I couldn't even repair my armor. I, I went to go like shoot their armor repair guy, and it just instant like bullets up ass. Yeah, good luck with that one. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Holy dog dicks. I do like how the universe just turns more and more red like the further out you go. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, that's my favorite feature of the, uh, the enemy is how they just slam into your ship. I 
I'd like to point out that every, like, little enemy is, is just big. Like, there is no more, like, little enemies anymore. It's just, we're out so far, the game is just at maximum cock-ass difficulty right now. We're at bone-chill difficulty. We're at ball-bust difficulty. We're at dis dick destruction di di difficulty. That's right, cock-ass. Cock-in-ass. Sorry, how you guys doing? Are you not entertained? <laughs> is that not what you're here? If you can hear us, please send help. Cock that ass, yes. Hey, you guys like my Metroid? Oh. Fuck, I look away for one second and most of my armor's gone. Holy shit. Oh, an enemy just respawned right in front of me. What the fuck? Out of here. What is this? Level 47? Level 47, baby! Get out of here. What? What is this nonsense? Get out of here. That is bull and of shit. Guys, I think I've... I don't think I hit the full edge of the universe, but I think I hit the, uh... I think I've hit a edge. Constantly spawning enemies. No, what this is, uh, is teleporting enemies. Danger, low armor. Oh, uh, yeah? Healy. I, I can't even fight these assholes. Ah, yes, no. There, There is no way to win this. I just keep bumping into them. Get out of here! Oh my god, this is just like the Grox in fucking Star Starflight. I almost said Starlink. Oh good, they're after the other guy. Fuck off. Uh, 132. Okay, I'm getting lucky, and they're, and they're, and they're going after my co-pilot. You know, I don't think I've ever played that game this way, because, like, once you complete the main story, there's no real, like, incentive, but you can just keep going out here. There's more, there's, like, tons of unique enemies. Like, it's got, got this MMO aspect. Danger, and... low armor. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Well, I made it to 140,000 before I died. Yeah, that is ass and fast. No, no, I don't know what that means. The Marauders are proof that the Armada does not attack everybody. We. I wonder if life is better game. If so, thanks for playing. Guess there isn't an edge. There has to be because of the way the game is designed. It just keeps going and scaling difficulty more and more. But there was unique enemies, I mean, you saw them. The, the reason why I think there, there's an edge is because, look, like, all the playing fields have edges. Don't you just love how, like, like the game runs at 60 FPS and then you get anywhere and it's like... Pfft, just starts locking to 30. Anyway, yeah, that's Armada. It's, uh, very unique. Um, I like the game. It is, uh... Not for everyone. Uh, I think when I played the majority of this game... Bah. Yes, when, when I played the majority of this game, I burped up my soul. I was just lying in bed sick, so... It's a lot of good mindless fun, but... I would make a stream out of it. Anyway, up next is an RPG for the Dreamcast. Dreamcast actually had quite a few little RPGs. One of them is this game. Called uh, Evolution... The World of Sacred Device. Oh boy. Mmm, what is that I see up there? <sighs> this is produced by Ubisoft and created by ESP. And, uh, let me just kind of, I just want to check something real quick. Let me just, uh... See, I, I I need some hint. I'd like to point out that that this this for this phone numbers is first like five digits is one nine hundred four twenty. Here we go. Hey, 
Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> One of these times, like, someone's gonna pick up and I'll have to, like, think fast, you know? Anyway, this is... This was actually one of the first RPGs on the Dreamcast. A fact that they, uh... A fact that they display on the box itself. Like, I don't know if you can read that. But it says the first RPG for the Sega Dreamcast. Revolutionary 3D graphics only possible on the Sega Dreamcast. Battle animated bosses using the advanced 360 degrees 3D combat system. Lightning quick action at 60 frames per second. Explore randomized dungeons for a unique experience on every venture. Believe it or not, I was planning on playing this game at some point for the stream. Um, I love this series, even though they made two games. And a combined game for the GameCube, but these are actually little charming RPGs. Also, I remember as a kid, like, like... Definitely thinking, boy, why does this one chick have just such massive eyes? I also learned about the whole waifu thing pretty early. Just kidding. No, really, this game makes great masturbation material. Look at the sides of that hand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? I remember being pretty impressed with this, uh, this, this opening cutscene, though. Like, it looks great. I thought it did anyway. Yeah, but anyway, the whole game like revolves around those d like devices. It's kind of neat. And it's got this such a great like sense of exploration and discovery, and I oh, it's so good. Janky animations a bit, but remember, this is like 1998, so I mean, <laughs> I a lot of a lot of uh, fucking things back then were a little janky, considering how new 3D was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this game's kind of jank. I'll admit it. But I love this game. It's 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 fun. It's a lot of fun. Hey, wait a tick. Didn't they advertise this at 60 frames per second? This is not 60 frames per second. I love... How you, you get, like, the full, like, analog moving, but then if you hold Y, you, you can, uh... You can just walk. I ban bamboozled. There's a useless jump key. I never did like sofas and couches or any kind of seat that you sink into. So the butler's name is Gree. Uh, the main character's name is Mag. And, uh, the little girl over there who follows Mag around is named Linear. If, uh... If you want to know what, what, what the naming scheme is, uh, here's a hint. Uh, think weapons. I'm not joking. The butler's name is Gree Nade. The main character's name is Mag Cannon. The girl's name is Linear Cannon. I don't know what the fuck they were on when they named these characters. Going out for a walk. Okay, take... There's, there, there's a character in this game named Chain Gun. <laughs> this is it. This is a phantom port, Linear. But where's the boat? So I said, it's just... It's it's charming. Evolution 2 is a bit more polished, though. It's, it's kind of like the Power Stone 1-2 thing. The, the Evolution 2 is a, is a lot more polished than Evolution 1. I think it holds up well in uh, some departments. Some. Yeah, holy shit. Okay, I think... Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Ah, yes. You know it's good when the game glitches on original hardware. Wow, this building is gigantic. Let's go check it out. Alright, listen. I just realized I saved at the most inopportune time. I'm just gonna start a new game instead. Cause like, what's coming up is nothing but like an hour worth of story. 
instead of like actually getting into the battle like this. How many games do you think of where like you just start off in the battle? All right, so linear is more of a like a recovery slash support type. One thing I always liked about Evolution is the fact that they showed you like an actual like counter. So you can see just who's coming up next. Also, the music is fucking spectacular. It's got fucking voice acting, too. So anyway, that thing on Mag's shoulder is called a Cyframe, yeah? I remember playing this on, like, um... Uh, whatever that emulator was for Android, and, uh... The battles worked, but it, every texture was just flickering mess. It was just <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> Real 0 to 60, huh? Yeah. That's how you start a game off. Just battle system. Ha, a wimpy monster like that was a piece of cake. Not a problem. We've come this far. The treasure must be nearby. You can still go on, right? Good, we are officially back in business. Yeah, look at this. This will get us out of the trickiest of situations. So let's do it. Oh, Mag. Mag Launcher. My favorite is Greenade, though. Greenade. This is so obvious. It must be a trap. He says as he steps on it like an absolute dipshit. Holy... I don't believe it. Ah! <laughs> Why does Linear just stand there? Boy, Ico sure looks different, huh? -huh. Phew, that was close. What were you doing, Linear? You have to run away when things get dangerous. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'm okay. I'm not hurt anywhere. What about you? Are you hurt? Huh? Hey, Linear. Who dat? Yeah, be believe it or not, that, that... That painting! That's the Messenger of Light! That's the one the Society told me about! Alright, we did it, Linear! This is the place! The treasure must be on top of the picture! How do you... How do you think to get up there? There she is! Well, well, Mac Launcher, still going on adventures with that scaredy cat girl, huh? That voice. No, it couldn't be. Yep, it is. And I helped myself to all the treasure. Chain, how did you get here? And where did you get that treasure? Ha, huh, I'm an adventurer too, you know, and Finder's Keepers is the only rule among adventurers. Either way, there's no way your side frame could have made it up here anyway. Because unlike mine, it can't fly! Ha! should be grateful for me saving you the needless effort. Yeah, psi frames are what uh, these characters use. They're apparently ancient technology that they just graft to themselves. Neat. I heard this loud noise and saw you guys running for your lives. A pro shouldn't fall for a trap like that. You sorry excuse for an adventure. You dirty rotten. You shouldn't even be here interrupting my work. A nice mitten hands, holy shit. <laughs> hey, don't get so mad. Look, you're frightening Linear. Mad? Who's mad? I'm just saying what any professional would say. It's that short temper of yours that always makes people mistake you for a man. Shane, if you could just stay calm and quiet, you might actually be kind of cute. You jerk, what does that have to do with, with it? Would you believe this is my introduction to, like, Japanese, like, tropes in anime? This game. It, it gets very Japanese-y. Hmm, instead of arguing here, we should be working to do the best we job we can so we can be proud to be adventurers. Well, now that you put it that way, I guess I wouldn't mind helping you, Mag. After all, I would be a hundred times more help than an amateur girl like her. So if you ever need my help, just come to my place. I'm out of here. Ah, yes, animation. <laughs> Did you see that animation? <laughs> that chain. No one can ever accuse her of not speaking her mind. There's another character later named Pepper Box. 
Uh, and she took all the treasure with her, too. Oh, man, without the treasure, I won't make any money on this assignment, either. Sigh. I know it was meant to be a side, but you didn't put it in, like, parentheses or anything? Panem Town, town of ruins and archaeology. With five whole buildings. We live in a society. The Society, an archaeological research institute. Yeah, harpsichord. Oh man, another assignment ends in failure. I can just see Gree's angry face. I'll get another long lecture. <laughs> Remember what I said? Like, I'm not too worried about me, like, uh... Spending a lot of time today on, like, the last few games? This is why, because they're all RPGs. <laughs> and I'm spending time on them, goddammit! I see, you reach your destination, are about to begin collecting the treasure, but Chain Gun beats you t Beats two to it! Right, I forgot this game uh, had typos in its translation. Beautiful. Your mission ends in failure, and you get nothing from the society. That about sums it up, yes? Yeah, I guess so. I sort of had to use a lot of items. I lost money on this assignment, haha. Uh -huh. Mag. Sort of had to? Lost money? Listen to yourself. How pathetic. For generations, the Launcher family has produced the most renowned adventures in these parts. Surely you remember that is the Launcher family's dream to find Evolution of the legendary Cyframe. However, now our operations lose money, and we depend on the society for work. Someday we will find Evolution and are depending on you, Mag. Come on, Gree, you worry too much. I know what to do. I won't make any more mistakes, I promise. <laughs> Very well, I truly hope so. Mag, you don't know the importance of your position as head of the Launcher family. Or do I just worry too much? He is too carefree. He lacks seriousness. He's downright irresponsible. Hey, uh, Gree, I'm standing right here, you know. Hey, are you even listening to me? Nonetheless, I have served the Launcher family for many years. I have seen many adventures. My expertise tells me that his puzzling confidence is the mark of a true leader. Someday he will grow into a magnificent adventurer I know he can be. Does anyone else notice how, like, I'm just- I'm able to read shit better now? I just- sh I just shocked myself. Does anyone remember, like, me trying to play Skies of Arcadia about, like, a year ago? This, this, this is what practice does. Anyway. Now then, Mag, you and I must work together to make that glorious day come. Uh, yeah, sure. Then let's begin immediately by going into town and asking the society for a new assignment. Those society assignments. Let's do that. Instead of sitting around, let's just go, uh, go out and earn the big bucks. Come on, Lanier, let's go get a new assignment from the society. I mean, it's not perfect. <laughs> It's an old clock that has been my family for generations. It's useless, though. Each day it loses about half a day. You know, if you oiled it once in a while, it would work. Then it would be best if I went into town and asked the society... What? Then it would be best if I went into town to ask the society for a new assignment. But Gree says that. I don't think that line's translated properly. By taking on as many assignments, we, we can replay the Launcher family's debt little by little. Let's do it, Mag. Once you find out your new assignment, I will accompany you on your adventure to assist you. I will do, like, a dungeon. Or at least half a dungeon. Anyway, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I love how they always show you the debt. You cannot actually clear that debt on your first play playthrough. Controller. Yeah. Uh... Formation. Yeah, here's another integral part of the game, too. Uh, there's, like, a, uh, a kind of, like, uh, a, a position system where uh, you select uh, where your guys are on, on the map, and de depending on how forward they are or backward they are, they'll take more or less damage, but also deal more or less damage. Also, what the fuck is going on? I've always remembered about this. This game is a little buggy in spots. If you hit, like, A on a blank space, it, this happens. 
A button's useless if no one's there. To end, press B. I've never got it to crash like this, but you know. See, I want Mag to deal more damage. Yeah, just leave it. Linear's definitely going in the back, though. SGS passive. Now, this isn't even a passive. I'd known about this glitch for eons. If I do it correctly, I can actually get, like, like, Asian characters to appear. <laughs> yeah, again, this is why I say, like, Evolution 2 is a lot more polished in, the, in like, the game. Alright, so anyway, we need to go and, uh, go grab an assignment. Until I was about 10, we would measure how tall I was by cutting a notch into this pump every year. This one's from when I was six. This one eight years old. Here's nine years old. What? I haven't gotten any taller since age ten. How can that be? Yeah, Mag's a midget. <laughs> He's like 15 in the game, I think? Or 15, 16? Actually, I have the manual here. Let's go find out. The Mag is... By the way, I own the strategy guide to this game, so... Fun fact for you. Let's see here. Where is the character? I like all the little artwork that's in this book. Combat. Special attacks. Sensibilities. Here we go. He is... The game does not tell me. Lovely. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the cover to my uh, manual was lost a long time ago. Just one of those things. Yeah, this game is definitely not, not running at 60 FPS. Why are you smoking? I just got here. I don't have any clothes. The ship with my baggage can't dock because of the 8th Imperial Army. Oh, I wish I didn't have to stay in these clothes in such heat. Look, I'm getting heat rash. Well, that's... that's too bad, miss. Why, how cute. You're blushing. Is this your first time seeing that much skin, or am I just that attractive? He's, he's a kid, you know. He... <laughs> Oh my. Look at this fucking pussy destroyer. Holy shit. Doesn't doesn't the Northrop Republic value sus, sus, value sus scholarly research? Yeah, all those uh all that uh shit I talked about reading good, you just throw it out the window. Society's international headquarters are here and its political cloud is stronger than any other countries. For that reason, I want to get into a good university. Shush. Well, hello there, Mag. Welcome to society. Are you going on an adventure with Linear? You could say that. you have any new assignments, Nina? I need one because I took a beating on that last assignment. Chain beat me to the treasure at the last minute. That's what I heard. Hee <laughs> hee. Did your servant Greek give you his, st his standard lecture again? How could you let that happen, Mag? Very funny. You know everything, don't you? After all, you're pretty much a veteran at the society. Veteran? Are you referring to my age? I resent that. I just have a lot of experience here, unlike unlike the people sent from other offices. I was born in this town. A lot of experience. That's a veteran. I understand perfectly. Anyway, I wish to, I wish so, somewhere there were. I I have this feeling like there's more text, but again, the translation for this game's a little rough. Dream on. If such places existed, the society would have sent its own people to investigate them long ago. But we can't, and that's why we'd like you, Mag. Yeah, I guess so. Well then, what can I do for you today, Mag? Okay, let's go on an assignment. Which ruins do you want to visit? Now, here's the cool part about this game. The dungeons aren't just, like, randomly generated. You can do them in any order! Yep. So this game in introduces a kind of, like, neat little random aspect. The dungeon layout themselves are all randomized, and the enemies scale to your level. Well, that means you can do them in any fucking order you wish. So, uh, which one do I want? Shades, forest. I mean, very deep in the jungle. There's water everywhere. Can we, I think we want to go to Descent Ruins. This one's really cool. Are you sure you want those ruins? Yes. All right, I'll, I'll get your clearance right away. You can leave on your new adventure whenever you're ready. I know they're far, but it's no problem because your family has a seaplane, right? Just a hop from the landing field. Well then, good luck. Give it your best. Of course, as you complete the game, you can come back here and just uh, see treasure all over the place. 
This is that treasure chain beat, beat, beat me out and got to first. Discovered by Chain Gun. You know, the names are really silly when they're just laid out like that. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Listen. Okay, I'm gonna buy some items and then fuck off. Yeah, so this is this is a cute little game. I just realized this chick has big titties and she has like a shirt that says milk on it. How I missed this all these years, I don't know. But it is such a Japanese thing and I love it. <laughs> Carrie. You two are always together. Uh, Linear must really like Mac a lot. <clears throat> Come on, give me a break. Don't give Linear any strange ideas. Come, now don't... Now, don't get embarrassed. You should always appreciate Linear because uh, women nowadays stay steer clear of adventures. Yeah, geez, does it have anything to do with the fact that they can just, like, not show up one day because they're dead? Alright, this is... Alright, this is powering up the Psy frame. Wait, hold on. Sam the Upgrader. Alright, I remember that. Yeah, dude's name is Sam. You know, Sam is such a common name, like, I, I see it in, like, like media and shit, and it, conf it mm, confuses me. Start by coming to the item shop first. Mag's old man used to say, Adventure who doesn't prepare isn't an adventure. It's true, I agree wholeheartedly. A little shopping? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Listen, I know, how to, I know how items work in RPGs. Please. Eye protection. Hmm. Can't tell if this stuff like is any better. Okay, that should do. So I'll go talk to Gree, and then we can be off on our quest. Fun fact, Chain lives here. Let's go talk to her real quick. Hey, but this is my main man, Mag. Welcome. I didn't mean to trigger a cutscene, but here we are. I'm so glad you came. Want to talk about the exploration already? Can't live without my help, eh? Hey, wait a minute. You can't expect me to go, go with this ditzy airhead girl again. Aren't you always saying no beginners in the ruins? Besides, you're spoiling her... You're spoiling her causes problems. Stop it! Can't you see you're scaring her? Look, it's not that Linear doesn't like you, right? Okay, okay. Sorry I went ballistic, alright? I was just worried about you, and from now on I promise not to rant and rave, but we'll help out instead, okay? You don't mind, do you, Mag? You're okay with this, right? Right? Ah, I think I know what she is. She's a susurundere. In fact, you can look at her underwear. Stupid, you're not supposed to look in there. <laughs> Anyway, so, so you can uh, have her as a party member. I don't want her as a party member, though, because uh, Gree's better. <laughs> yeah, if you can't tell, I really like this game. Uh, it's charming. It's really charming. I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Almost as much as Skies of Arcadia, believe it or not. Why? You appear to have received a new assignment. Shall I assist you with it? Unlike Skies of Arcadia, though, uh, this game's not as not nearly as polished. Understood, Meg. I am willing to accompany you if you will have me. Here we go. Degree has joined the party. And now I can do shit like this. Haha, we shall all jump on the couches because I say so. And of course, Mag has things to say about, like, the environment and all, all sorts of shit, but I'm not gonna, like, read it. Yeah, this game is not running at 60 frames per second. Come on. Oh my god, I hate this webcam, I seriously do. Come on, focus. Focus! Oh, you fucker! In 
In order to travel to the, to the ruins, in order to search out adventure, board the seaplane, the sea otter. Wait, hold on. Did the landing field itself just tell me that? Where the fuck? Old tires place was crate is empty. I think Mag makes a tire joke somewhere. Yeah, at 60 FPS is actually advertised. Hold on, I'm gonna like bring up the webcam controls since apparently I can't fucking do that. Okay, properties. Uh, configure crossbar. No, video. Here we go, video. Okay, we want camera control. And I'm, I'm gonna like f put the focus all the way up. Beep. Up. Oh, yep. Beep. Here we go. Look at that. It says, actually does say, fuck, 60 FPS at the back of the box. There it is. <laughs> so it's really not. Like, I, I, I always wondered that. I wonder if it did run at 60 FPS at some point and they had to, like, cut back because of, you know, reasons. Should come back here later and clean up. That's the point of having all these crates around with nothing in them. They're all empty. You found some nail in. <laughs> this crate is empty. I think like... I think like one of these... There was once a cranky cactus that was said to have a thorny disposition. Sorry, sorry, I promise to stop. Hey, this cactus little pieces is not out of it. There must be an animal around here that eats it. Yeah, every item here has, has a unique, like, description. Like, I don't know why. I think one of these has Mag talking about, like... T t he makes a tired joke, right? It's like the engine oil in this one. Alright, listen on. With, with the sea otter or the sea plant, we can go to, to, to the ruins near Phantom Town or anywhere else in one hop. Alright, let's go to the ruins. So someone printed all the labels before the game released. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so anyway, here is the dungeon system. It's all complete, completely random. And here we meet the meat of the game. <laughs> yeah, Linear doesn't talk, but she does make uh, noises. That's all I'm going to say. I do really like how uh, I've said this, but like it's a fucking gun. I love how just like y you can see your exact turn order on the, uh, you know, on the uh, status bar there. It's kind of cool. It's not as good as Skies of Arcadia's battle system, but you know what? It's not bad. Ow! Yeah, the battle systems are not. The game is hard locked to thirty. That's why I think. Somebody, uh... <laughs> somebody... Yeah, somebody printed that out, like, way before it was ready. And as you heard there, there is unique music for... ...being in a regular battle. I got yeah! I got yeah! Oh, Kaucho turned on ye! That's not Japanese, that's just gibberish. Yeah, this is a really cool dungeon. Um, I'm gonna try to get to some of the later floors because uh, it turns really pretty. Right. I think there's a monster here. Yes, there is. And if you notice, uh, there's very small like loading times. That is a monster. Holy shit! Look at them dip suck dick sucking lips. I kind of want to do a whole playthrough of this game at some point. Maybe not on original console, but, um... Just in general. Like, I love this game. N not anytime soon, mind you, but at some point I want to. It, it holds a special place in my heart that's... Close to Skies of Arcadia. It's, j it's just got that quirky charm to it, I love it. And the storyline gets pretty heavy later in the game, actually. I'm not gonna get too far into it, but there's like... But, like, you meet this character who becomes obsessed with, like, linear, almost to, like, creepy levels, and then he fucking, like... Well, story events unfold and, uh, shit happens, but, you know, it's just, like... It gets surprisingly deep. You know, for a game that's like this, you know, I didn't expect, like, some of the story, like, throws, so to speak. 
Gas has made you confused. Ah, yes, I see. Also, fun fact, the VMU actually does shit in this game, look. It shows your, uh, your health. Also, I gotta, I gotta ask, did I, uh, did I play this game for the last showcase? I don't remember. Picked up Eye Potion. I don't think I showed off this much. Oh, look at that spider, motherfucker. Get him away. Get him away. I love the enemy designs in this game, by the way. They're great. So, like, you got this fucking... Like... Amiibo-looking motherfucker. Then you have these spiders that have, like... Okay, you can't see it, but trust me when I say that there is a face on it. There it is. It's got a face on its ass. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's cool, though. Yeah, I kind of wish the uh, like the music didn't restart every uh, every time I get out of a battle. I'm gonna kind of skip battles and just go straight for like the uh, floor, like the next floor, because I kind of want to get up to where like it shows like the upper le like levels. Ah, good. Ah, good. Yeah, ah, good. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, here you can see, like, the Dreamcast analog stick is actually, like, pretty sensitive. Like, it doesn't dead zone to any, like, particular, like, pl like, uh, axes. Like, it just sort of kind of goes. So, like, I'm, I, I'm, I have to make fine adjustments. It's not so much a problem in this game, but in, like, a game like Skies of Arcadia, it can be hard to, like, get your ship actually pointed straight. Oh, by the way, Tech, have you heard any pops or anything? I set OBS to 48 kilohertz. Hmm? I don't know where that monster came from. Let's do a special, uh... Mag-only type. Encourage. Slightly raises all, all parameters. Hmm. Eh. Yes. What did you respond yes to? There, there's a bit of, bit of a delay, remember? Oh, it was that monster. Saucer parts. Yeah, Thother. I picked up an arb. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward for people who will... Who Everyone's FP has been reduced. Oh, whoops. That's a fun little area. Look at this. Now, in Evolution 2, the dungeons are not randomized. Well, except for one special dungeon. Yeah, they're all predetermined, but they're much more... Uh... Yeah. I, hmm. I don't. I don't know where I was going with that. That's in a room filled with enemies. Yeah, they're more handcrafted. Is where I was going with that before my mind completely derailed. Yeah, this was a launch title for the Dreamcast. Uh, it's a little finicky. Music's beautiful though. Like, as I said, like I, this game has great music. Am I weird for liking this? I don't know. I'm just, it's very nostalgic to me. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat, neat to play it on the TV. Like yesterday was kind of like the exciting one. Now this is just sort of the chill one. This is like side B, you know. Like, like this is the uh, this is the Dreamcast stream where I just chill, you know. Yeah, goody. I mean, yes, there was pops. Oh, okay. So, we don't know what the fuck's going on. It's obviously not a kilohertz issue, because I've always ran OBS at 44, like, kilohertz. I like how the enemies are trying to follow me, but they can't. 
think I hear pups with music. What the pups are, Runoff, is just drops in music. It's like somebody mutes and unmutes it very quickly. That's what we're talking about. But... I think Tech's the only one that, like, really notices them. Like, I don't even, like, notice when I'm editing. So. They're so, like, they're so small, I don't think 90% of people will notice. Oh, here we go. Look at how beautiful this dungeon gets. Look at this nonsense. This is great. That's what I mean. Like, this game had such a, like, a great sense of, like, discovery and wonder. With the music, the music has pops. The music has very drummy drums. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. Just have earphones on. I mean, like, so do I, but, you know. Yes, I watch my own streams. No, just kidding. I actually unplugged my speakers and my amplifier because I have no room on my desk. The Aztec says he has the ears of a fox, only he, like, notices that shit. Oh, nice miss. Oh, brutal. Oh my god. Yeah, so I haven't been fighting enemies. And this game is not... Uh, you can get overwhelmed. I love that... I love that, uh... Fucking <laughs> low sample rates of ass sounding sound. How many x rays do I have? Ah, yes, can't tell because Claudia is stuck over on the wrong monitor. Zero. <laughs> Tech, why is it, how come, like, like you have to run, like, a special version of the Colonel? Because you're having x runs and, like, I'm just sitting here, like, running, like, dog shit central and, like, I'm getting nothing. <laughs> What's going on here? I'd like to point out, I'm gonna get, like, absolutely destroyed during the boss. Cause... Alarm, you have been spotted by enemies. Oh no. Old style gun. Scythe frame. Okay, let's see. Uh, hammer parts. Anyway. Moving on. Because I have hard drives in this system. So what does that matter? You like dog shit central, Diggle? It's the best way I can describe my setup. It, this really is just dog shit. Sukuna's not! Yeah! Guys, I cannot play this game. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a full playthrough without annoying all of you. Yeah! Yeah, that's why. Oh, boy. Uh, don't kill. That does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Let's see, how much health does Gree have? Uh, 113. You know how I can tell? This is how I can tell. Your Linux machine is this is the only disk IO preempts shed FIFO with normal kernel. That's wrong, actually. I do have a two terabyte hard drive that in that system that just sort of sits there and collects dust. <laughs> it is active though. It's it, every time I take a screenshot, that's where the that's where the uh, where the pictures are going. Also, if I save anything, they go into there too. So, I mean, yeah, I do have a hard drive, but it's not probably not like your system where you have, like, a hundred. I mean, what, do you have the fucking satellite bay filter them? Pain box. Let's try this. Look at the after image. I think this game kind of, like, looks good. Like, the bottles are a little chunky, yeah, but I mean, like... It has a distinct style, and I think it looks pretty good. Eh. Zap, baby, zap. Enemies vulnerable to lightning, surprises, and freezes. This is all enemies. Let's try this. As I said, it's... Evolution 2 is uh, much better. Wow, that missed everybody. Eh, cooking. 
I'm sorry. I uh, I never realized the uh, name of this was Flaccid Soup. Flaccid Soup. Have you ever had soup that makes you flaccid? Flaccid Soup! Is that really the best name you could have given this? <laughs> what do you mean, Flaccid Soup? I love this game. Let's incite anger on Mag. Mag has exploded with anger. That might have been a bad idea, actually. So that's why I have Linear in the back. Oh, don't kill. That must be a mistranslation. Yeah, remember when I said, like, the translation quality of this game is kind of subpar? Y y you'll see why. Or you do see why, in case. Spell... Strength recovery? A little first aid. Okay, well, here you go. So, since I avoided so many enemies, like, I, I have to, like, actually, like, pay attention and then do well now, because... My party's gonna get fucking wiped before I can even make it to the boss. Which is fine, because, like, I was probably gonna get wiped by the boss anyway. Oh my god. You know, this is very triumphant music for getting my ass handed to me. Oh! Well, rip and piss. What's that? Flaccid soup time. I think this is bad here. This is this could be a wife. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have used like my. my, uh, my mm. Okay, two mistakes. I should have uh, revived linear when I had the chance. Oh, nice dodge. The other mistake was I shouldn't have made Mag blind with fury because now he I can't make him like heal people. Oh my god. This is bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Claymore has retreated. The game knows exactly what it's doing. <laughs> I love how the Gree just fainted. Oh my god, Mag, you and your Berserk State is my only hope. By the way, there is no continue option. It's it's kicking you back to the title screen, so. You don't get to see the boss tonight, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, no, no boss tonight. <laughs> boss gone! <laughs> Party rip! <laughs> Fuck it, everyone dies! Flip the Dreamcast. No, he already went over this. I'm not doing that. Thanks, party has become exhausted. Wait, hold on. Is, is it a kickback to the title screen? Oh, that's right. If you're in a boss battle, it's an instant game over. But if you're on the field, then it, it just sends you back to the town. Oh, too bad. You struck out. You should have headed back to town when you got in trouble. Let's see. I've, I've added another $100 in rescue fees to your current loan balance. Oh, man. More debt. Instead of reducing our debt, these assignments are increasing our debt. Oh, how de deplorable. Come on, no, don't exaggerate so much. We'll do better next time. Well, this is what I think. Uh, we're, not, we're not we're not setting the Dreamcast on fire or flipping it, alright? Alright, okay, you know what? You're gonna get your Dreamcast flipping. Just after the segment is over, okay? And you, you can hold me to my word, too. I'll do it. So up next is uh, Evolution 2, the sequel. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the sequel, like, a little bit, because why not? Apparently it came with a free Grandia music CD. Yeah. At least the back of the, back of the box doesn't talk about 
like 60 frames per second when it doesn't have it. No, I'm joking. Don't break the Dreamcast. No, you're gonna get your Dreamcast flipped. You're gonna get it. I, I, it's, uh, it's locked in. You're gonna get it. Boy, I'm, I'm sure that, that. ASP. ASP. Sting. Boy, all these companies and like half of them are gone. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Evolution 2. <gasps> so fun fact about this, it had a had a program you can download onto your VMU. And you and you can have like a little like linear come and uh, hang out on your VMU. It was like a virtual pet sort of deal, only you didn't need to feed her. <laughs> okay, it's not a virtual pet, it's just a little clock. But uh Yeah. I don't think I have any save files for this game. Oh, I do, actually. Yeah, dating back to 2009. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my god. Guys, look, it's... Okay, it's 9-11, yeah, but I mean... That's tomorrow. So tomorrow would have been... The, uh... The 11th anniversary of the last time I played this fucking game. So I'm just gonna, like, load. Like, I'm not gonna, like... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna load. So already, like, you can see some improvements in the game. Uh, here's a major one. You can actually have, like, an over-the-view, like, mode. Like, the music's a little better. The game feels a little less janky. The graphics are, Im are improved. And the game has voice acting. Like, actual, like, like, vo like voice acting. It's like... It's like they actually took everything they learned from the first game and, and put it into this one. I'm gonna try to go and, uh... Interesting date to stop playing. Yeah, I know. It, it was not intentional. You can conquer the crypt maze. I heard it from Lisa. As I expected of the heir to the famous House of Launcher. House of Launcher. Hee hee. Ah, oh, shucks. It wasn't anything. Piece of cake. President Whitehead was delighted too. Thanks to you, I can hold my head up high. Hey, I'm really glad for you. By the way, Mag, did you hear anything from Pepper? Uh, nothing at all. If you didn't hear anything, then forget it. Ah. What's the thing can I do for you? Uh, I want to go on another adventure. It's an appraisal. Wait, can I just, like, go like go back to, like, any of the, like... I think I can go back to one of the dungeons. Hold on. Like, this game's... structured differently. I think I can just go on... ball quests whenever I... whenever I want. I just gotta remember where to go. That's a humongous shadow for a little dog. Holy crap. Rough. Hee <laughs> hee. You're a friendly doggy. Let's see. Pet her nicely. Pet, 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 pet. Rough, rough. Ha ha ha, she's so cute with her tail wagging. Hey, can't you, like, swap people? Hold on. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Oh, my. Yeah, I forgot about that. Like, you can actually, like, play as different characters. And, uh, they, they have their own dialogue. It's, uh, yeah, this game is much bigger than, than, than the previous one. Hee <laughs> hee, that's a good girl. Right, you have to be stopped in order to actually switch characters, though. There's no real reason to, like, switch characters besides just having, like, your party, your party leader. Be someone else, alright. Okay, uh... So I can show this off real quick. Yeah, in, in the original evolution, you had to tackle, like, a dungeon one at a time. But here, you can just go wherever. And, and then the dungeons are all preset and pre predetermined. Yeah, it's just... They're a little better. This game's... This game is definitely better than Evolution 1. <laughs> Holy shit, I forgot about that. There's, like, environmental hazards, too.
And you think that, like, formation glitch still happens? No, it does not. It, here's one thing about the, uh, the battle system, though. It's the same, down to the same music, but it's just a lot more polished. Like... Like, you guys can tell immediately off the bat how much better this game is, right? Like, 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 playing the two back to back, it's kind of surprising just how, like, how much, like, work w w went into the sequel. Kind of want to play this game. Yeah, go ahead. It's, it should run perfectly fine on, on, on a Dreamcast emulator these days. And it's, and I do like them. They're kind of fun. That being said, if you can stomach the first one, do not skip it, because there is a lot of story that, uh, you would miss by just playing the second one. It's not important, I guess, but, I mean, there is some cool shit. Like how by the end of the game, you can literally punch a tank to death. Yeah, I'm way overpowered for this fucking area. Talents. They don't, have, they don't speak Japanese here. I don't speak moon runes. Mm. Barrel roll, fuck yeah. Enemy area. One of the attacks is a fucking yo-yo, I love it. Yeah, don't know. Alright, you get the idea. I'm gonna start a... Uh-oh. Uh... uh <laughs> right, I forgot this game just starts off expecting you... Playing the original... It, the, yeah, spoilers! Spoilers! Holy shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, the storyline is better in, in, in the sequel. You know, I kind of brought this upon myself. I probably shouldn't be showing this game off. Especially since I just got done playing. I was just saying I want to play them at some point. Don't at some point means like not soon, but eventually. Like maybe like in a year or so. Like there are other RPGs I want to play like way like first, like Grand Eye 2. Oh yeah, can you feel it now? Oh yes. Hmm, now it's an anime. Are you feeling it now? Remember when I said this is my introduction to anime tropes and sure, yeah, I'm not joking. That kid can run fucking fast, by the way. Holy shit. I just wanted to, like, show off the beginning with, like, the voice act, and I accidentally just spoiled a major component of the ending of the first game. Whoops. Yeah, Lydia is more than she seems. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Renault. <laughs> you know, if, if you do speak, like, Japanese, like, they're... You can't understand what they're saying. Oh, 
I don't know if I should read the dialogue or just let the game, like, read it. By the way, there is a third version of uh, these games. It's called Evolution Worlds. It came out for the GameCube. It's apparently pretty rare, and it's so rare I can't even find an ISO download for it. I really wanted to play it, actually. The main difference is, is that it combines games 1 and 2 together on one disc, and it also translates all the Japanese into English. I mean, I mean, like, the voice acting, and it also adds voice acting for the first game as well. So, Evolution Worlds. <laughs> However, I heard uh, Evolution 1 is a bit cut back. Well, all of Evolution 2 is in the, in the game. Evolution 1 is heavily reduced. It's a little weird. Look at that dick sucking lips. White the head I-I reading all this dialogue? I do like how this game starts. It, it's kind of neat. By the way, like... Like, one of the guys, like, in this is, uh... It's kind of neat. He has, like, a fucking gun arm. Oh, there's Chain. Chain Gun! What a fucking name! Chain Gun. Fuck off. Surundere! Her voice is adorable. I'll go play around the engine. Oh well. It was just blaring even before it got onto the train. Huh. Nanda! Nanda! Oh, nice clipping. Trains don't stop that fast. Yeah, they do. There he is! Fucking, I think his name is Carcano? Look at his fucking side frame! It's just a massive gun arm! Holy shit, I love it. Rack. Carcano, there he is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a bit of an action, a bit of a more actiony intro than the original game. It's about the same, I think, actually. Uh, here's what you do: uh, introduce gun to face. I think he's got a shotgun in this, actually. Introduce frying pan to face. And he's down already. Boy, howdy. Of course, it is just the uh, tutorial. Whoops. I 
I believe that thing is a, like a glorified grappling hook. Can Carcano join your party? I don't remember. So, yeah, no, uh, I know for a fact, I don't know much Japanese, but, but, uh, uh, Kasul does not translate to rats. Uh, Mag just swore. <laughs> it wasn't a big swear, but it, it was a swear. それにしても、よりによってなぜこの列車が盗賊に狙われたのでしょう。ニーナ様なら何かご存知かもしれませんな。<laughs> All right, anyway, you get the gist. These games are pretty good, but at the sake of moving on, gonna move on. I will play Evolution One and Two at some point. Um, first one for the nostalgia factor, and because it's really good. Anyway, up next is Tomb Raider Chronicles, and this looks like the actual disc that I had before. Oh, guys? You know what that broken disc was for Tomb Raider Chronicles? That was a disc that came off the eBay package. That wasn't mine. That's why it was broken. It arrived broken. That's how he shipped it. I... I just put it together in my head. I can tell this is my copy because the jewel case is absolutely fucked. I can keep the discs relatively safe, but my all my jewel cases have damage done to them. <laughs> because I'm a fucking animal with my games, apparently. I just can't figure it out! Anyway, powered by Windows CE, this is Tomb Raider Chronicles. It's kind of like the other Tomb Raider game. Only with more action! Yeah! Tomb Raider! Tomb Raider! Yeah! Remember Core? Remember Eidos? Is Eidos still around? Kind of Ubisoft. Is Ido still around? I, I don't fucking remember. I, I do like this intro though. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, spoiler warning. Uh, in Tomb Raider Four, uh, Laura fucking dies. No, really, Laura died in the in the fourth game at, at the very end. It was actually kind of a big shock back in the day. Of course, nowadays we learn that she comes back in Tomb Raider: Angel Darkness, but and then and then the series got got rebooted. So. <laughs> in world news, a memorial service Tis a sad day, Winston. She will live on forever in our hearts. Surely, Winston. And for this is but a memorial service. There may yet be news from Von Croy in Egypt. Indeed. We can only hope and pray that she may yet return to us. But I fear Von Croy... Look at these crusty the fucking FMVs. ...her alive may only be met with black reality. Indeed. Indeed. I do like these FMVs. They got a certain edge to them, you know? Also, the models are weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Tomb Raider Chronicles was kind of like a turning point. Like, the games were always action-y, but... This game kind of went above and beyond. Also, listen to this music. This music is not Tomb Raider music. Okay, kind of is. Pretty good, I think. Special features. Okay, I think I actually have some Tomb Raider saves. Uh, not in this one. That's fine. I just play a new game. I remember that used to scare me, just like that first model. Never expect it. Pontificate. Indeed, my friend. 
Even the heavens cry out. Ah, the Philosopher's Stone. One of Lara's early conquests, and one of her most challenging pursuits, if my memory serves me. And Rome still bears the scars of that little episode. Ah, she was never one for diplomacy, Lara. But she certainly knew how to paint the town red. God, I, I just love early FMV oh, shit. Darn, it's great. Just a picture? Ah, the charming Mr. Larson. There she is. Has Pierre let you off the leash? Talking of which, where is our learned friend? Oh, he's around. You got the cash? I've got the cash, but I don't deal with the monkey. <laughs> well, now that ain't polite for a lady. Even if the monkey has the mercury stone. Lucky I'm in a generous mood. Ah. Crawled out from under your rock, I see. No need for unpleasantries, Miss Croft. I'm afraid I must, once again, relieve you of your burden. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> he did have a gun. What happened to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, underwear. That's Lord Craft for you. Sexy and smooth. Oh, there's a gun. Over to the fat lady sings. God, I need like a limiter or something. Holy shit, it got loud. <laughs> what did I tell you? They didn't make it. You know, the scooter's still there. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this is Tomb Raider Chronicles. It's like a series of stories, which is why it's Chronicles. That tell, uh, you know, it's like the lost stories of Laura Croft. Fun fact, I was playing this on PC not that long ago, and, uh... Well, I like this because you get right into the action right away. Yeah, dual pistols, dual pistols, and everything. I always love this if you just time it right, you can just like machine gun the pistols. What's that, ammo? Nah, we don't need ammo where we're going. Tutorial, tutorial areas over there, but I'm not gonna go down there because I already know how to play the game. I think I do anyway. But yeah, anyway, I was playing this on PC and uh, the uh, control scheme's a little weird. And uh, apparently, in order to crouch, you gotta hit the period key. Which, uh, when I found that out, I had this reaction. these bindings <laughs> yeah there you go yeah killing dogs yeah that's how you know also fun fact the uh, the fountain is not supposed to sound like that at all Yeah, I, I always thought this fountain sounded weird, and then when I played, like, other versions of the game, I, I figured it out. It, it The sound loop is completely fucked. I was there, you shit the piss out of me. Yeah, I bet. Ah, yes. Alright, so how do you, like, dive, then? Hold on. How do you do the dive? And like the other, like, version, like, PlayStation version, you can make Laura dive. I, I don't know how to do that in this one. Okay. 
Well, that must be it then. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that looked a little odd. Yeah, I kind of want to play the Tomb Raider games for the stream someday. They are fun. Like this, like, uh, the sense of, like, discovery and shit. It's re they're pretty good. Um, and I, I, they're also, like, really early, like, games. So, you know, they, they, they got some jank factor, which I always love a game like that. Yeah, bats! Oh god, they hurt. Shoot the bats! Shoot the bats! Shoot the bats! Just machine gun that shit! You're fine. Yeah, no, the dream... I've, I've said this before with Tomb Raider 4, but uh, the Dreamcast version is not the best version to be playing. Yeah, I'd recommend either the PlayStation version, if you don't mind the worst graphics, or the PC one, if you can actually get it to run. And if you don't mind spending an hour set resetting your bindings, because uh, period is fucking crouch. So I'm... Also, I don't entirely know if, if there's a way to get the uh, the music working on the PC one. Not in Tomb Raider 1, anyway. Which is a bit of a problem, considering that voices get played through that. See, if you're wondering why I like this Dreamcast game, it has surprisingly low, uh, low poly models and shit. Yeah, it's because it's a PlayStation game that they just ported to the Dreamcast. <laughs> the same goes for the other one. What is this? Got the bullets here. Can't believe. And didn't they have like a, yeah, I remember they had like this weird like deal with time mix at the time. You could win one of these fucking things. I think so anyway. I think they had an advertisement for it in the manual. Let me go check. That's what I love about the manuals. You can just like look it up. Yeah, let's see here. I thought they had like an advertisement for these fucking things. Holy crap, it's still got the old registration card. Win cash, free games, t-shirts, hats, watches, strategy guides, and other cool loot. Yeah. Check out our online contest at idos.com and enter to win. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's get right on that. Oh, my. What systems do you own? PlayStation, Game Console, Sega, Dreamcast, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64, or a Pentium PC? Hmm. <laughs> Well, hold on. Software specialty, i.e. EB and Babbages. Bab edges. What the fuck is a... Guys, what is this? What does it mean? What? What's a Babbage? Wh where did you purchase? What, like, is a... What is that? It's your first IDOS. Anyway. Do you mean this? I dosing? Like, what are you saying? Oh. I know what the. Yeah, digital drugs, yeah. I didn't say I dosing. What are you talking about? It's a store. What is that one of them fruity, like, West Coast stores? Because I'd never heard of it in my life. See, we had this thing over here. It's called Best Buy or Circuit City, and uh, nowhere else did they sell games. Yeah, strategy guy. Oh, there it is. The Timex, the, uh, the Timex TMX Grip Clip. Shock resistant mystery answer function, screensaver. It, Indiglo nightlight, stopwatch alarm timer, water resistant up to 50 meters, and TMX loss protection plan. Look at this fucking rad motherfucker. Look at that thing. Holy crap. It looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> It's a store. You may know it as GameStop. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, should I call the Edo's uh, helpline again? We're not doing that. Wait, so, so GameStop used to be known as Babbage. I, I've never heard of this in my life. I, I almost don't want to believe you. I, 
But I know you're not fucking around. Like, why would you kid about something like that? That's so stupid, it has to be true. Like, what do you mean, Babbage? Oh, well, I mean, I found a key. The history is really complicated, actually. Tech, why do you know this off the top of your head? Like, it, it's GameStop, like, who cares? <laughs> Sorry. I see doggy. There's, there's that, there's that really famous clip. Because I have Wikipedia. Oh, so you're just looking. So, so you just did a very quick search for Babbage. Got it. Owie, doggy hurt. Ah, uh, yes, award winning combat. See, now this is animations right here. Ah, uh, yeah, see that key? Yeah, remember when I said that th this was a PlayStation game? Did you did you think I was kidding? Whoa! No. <gasps> <laughs> Combat. I just picked up a pentagram. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's called the garden key. <laughs> no. GameStop traces its roots to Babbage's, a Dallas, Texas-based software retailer founded in 1984. Ah. So it's Texas. There's that award-winning combat. 1999, Babbage's, etc. launched its GameStop brand with 30 stores. Oh, okay. So I thought, uh, going forward, we'd just put lore on the rope, but I forgot, like, I forgot these games are a bit more uh, complex than that. Okay, Anita. Here we go. Right, this is one of the new things they added to this game. A lot of other shit happened in between, but that's a TLDR. Cool. So I, I wonder, like, if, if, if it's such, like, a not, like, localized thing, like, why is it even in, like, the registration card? It's kind of surprising, actually. It'd be like, uh, it'd be like if Fantasy Realms was just in, like, the, like, the, like, the statewide registration card, you know, despite only being in, like, one, one town here in, well, there in Massachusetts. Unless Babbage is bigger than I give it credit for. I was gonna say, why did the game just lock up? So, so this, is, this is a lot more playable. Wait, hold on. Fuck, we've been here. Here I come. Wait, have I been here? Oh, I have. Great, so what was the point of coming down there? Great, I, I think I unlocked the shortcut. Uh, there's no reason to go up there. So get this, making Laura plunge into a wall face first makes vibration. Shooting the guns does not. Beep. Beep.
Did anyone else remember how in Tomb Raider 1 her tits were basically just like pure triangles? And like, they were that big because of a, oh, like a software error that like accidentally added too much to like the torso. I, I just love like that mythos, it's just like, yeah, Laura Croft was a mistake, but you know what, it's fine. Laura, can you please take like five steps before I have to like correct your goddamn shit again? For fuck. Somebody to cosplay that. Oh, I've seen it. I love that one. It's just somebody just stuck boxes to, to, to their chest. It's great. Okay, is there anywhere anywhere else to go? No, actually not. Hmm. What? Uh. Well, I got a flare. I don't know why I did this. I got a flare now. All right, so here's where I use the uh, the penta key. Yeah, garden key, my ass. <laughs> and it doesn't open the door you think it opens. Hmm. Or does it? Uh, okay, the A door is supposed to open when I do that. Oh, I need two of them. Fuck. Dex got a link. <laughs> there, there it is. Holy crap. That, that is phenomenal, I love it. Although the, uh, the model of, uh, of, of Laura Croft, the original Tomb Raider, has, like, some sort of texture upscaler applied. Well, that cosplay is great, holy shit. I, I'd like to point out the evolution of Laura, like, that's her original model, and this is her model in this game. Like, like, if you notice, like, she's actually got, like, like, breastuses. Like, it looks a lot better than, the, you know, the, like, the first game. And you can't see anything. Like, just compared to, like, like this game. Yeah. <laughs> can't see triangle tits in the way. Uh. Great, now I, I, I need to find the other, uh... I need to find the other, uh, pentagree. Hello, what's this? Yeah, the controls are a little awkward. Like, they are tank controls, but they give you, like, a little bit more control over the character. Like, you can move forward. Ooh. <laughs> I know what that is. Yeah, Magnum, baby. Mama. Okay, that looks like a door I could open. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... Hmm? Is there a way to manually aim this shit? Ah, yes, I see. Laser sight combined with revolver. Okay, so what happens if I were to like spend all the ammo? Like, would that fuck me? Like, what would happen? Readies! Oh god! Oh no! No no! Laura needs to get out there. They're, they're nipping on her heels. Oh, jeez, they're following me. Ah, yes. Now we're talking. Damn it! Stop that! 
Try to make her run. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I have to shoot the rats? Get out of here. Okay, go, we go this way now? But I'm starting to see why they, uh... They have, like, different modes of, uh... Stuff. Different control schemes. Because, uh... The D-pad's a little awkward at times. And I am lost. Okay, we don't want to go... Oh, fuck me. We don't want to go through the key door. We want to go... This way. And the garden's on the right, right? Yeah, okay. So I kind of know where I'm going. <laughs> I like to point out that making Laura, like, I didn't make Laura run into the wall, she just sort of did that herself. I, d I lost control, I don't know why. It's a little ominous, yeah. Hey, can I take these back? No, I cannot. Hmm. How did you not hear that? What does the cowboy hope to achieve with this mindless firing? Ain't mindless? Ain't we trying to kill her anymore then? You were kicked in the head by a horse, we? So the <laughs> brain doesn't work correctly? <laughs> How'd you know about that? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We wait until she collects the other pieces. In this fashion, we have the full price at no extra effort. You is one clever cookie, boss. Comparatively, yes. Come, let's get off this roof. And I will buy you a milkshake. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I did I did Laura not like hear or react to like the gunshot that nearly hit her. From a fucking like magnum no less. Okay, dokie. See so, yeah, apparently that mercury stone was part of a puzzle. As you can see, it fit nicely in there. But there's other holes. Ah, the mystery deepens. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this for too much longer. Um, like, you get the idea already. Like... Actually, let me complete this. I think this is a boss... That involves that bell. Boy, howdy, I didn't know what to do there, guys. It was so, so confusing. Whoa, camera, please. Supposed to be a way to like I don't know. Is that another is that another laser sight? Hmm. I guess if you missed the first time. There's more ammo there. Oh 
wish I could make her do her dive move. I was trying to, I was trying to kill her off there because it's like I had enough. I want to stop playing now. Nah, this is fine. Let's just, let's just waste all the flares. Did I just waste all the ammo of the fucking magnum like that? Yep, there we go. I love these VMU items. I tell you what. Nah, it's gotta take too long. Alright, listen. Drew Raider. <sighs> Pretty good series. I, I'm not in the mood to play it right now, though. Um, never mind the fact that I don't have the time, but, you know. Uh, again, don't play the Dreamcast versions. They're a little bit, uh, screwy. So now, obviously, the best for last is the game I've already played many times over, and I've already done a full playthrough on my channel, but what else other than Skies of fucking Arcadia? And I'm gonna show you exactly what Disc Rot does to a system. You know, it's weird, too. Like, looking through it, I don't see, the, like, the, the, the holes for, for the disc rot. But the game, well, you'll see. It doesn't want to work. Like, I don't know if it's just my Dreamcast's laser, but it's just... It, it, you'll see. Okay, I think... I think it's this one that has the save on disc 2. But yeah, Skies of Arcadia is one of my favorite games of all time. I have did a full playthrough of it already on Demuel emulator. And, uh, you know, this is more or less just me showing off that I have the game in its entirety. Uh, fully boxed and everything. Um, but yeah, this is, um... Skies of Arcadia is probably, yeah, yeah definitely one of, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Definitely one of my favorite games ever. This, this game is so fucking good. Like, if you ever even had a passing interest in RPGs, give it a shot. Like, I cannot, like, recommend it enough. It's a shame that Sega just will not give this game any more love than it's already received. It's a goddamn shame. And here it is, running on original hardware. You know, and it's, uh... Glorious. Glorious high frame rate. And this is where I saved because I couldn't get any further because the battles keep locking up, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've actually seen Skies running on, like, a TV. Yeah, it's a unique game with a very good storyline, awesome music, but you all know that. I forget, Ronald. Were you here during my Skies of Arcadia playthrough at all? I did it mostly last year. I can hear someone talking. Yo, you were here. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure, you know. It's I, I have I have shit memory. This is the part where you streamed emulated. This is part of why you streamed emulated. Yes, tech, exactly. Value and soldier. Moon energy operating within the enemy. Listen. I'm just gonna play for a, a little bit and enjoy, enjoy one of the finest RPGs of all time. <laughs> I got mostly to the end of the game. We should beat it. Like I, I just I, <laughs> I don't know. I love this game to death. It's partially nostalgia. It's partially just the fact that the game is so damn charming and so like well made. Like I cannot say enough good things about this. Oh, and, and my favorite feature. If you listen for the Dreamcast, you can hear it, like, load before the battles hit. I don't know if maybe I'll be able to show that off on this stream, but, uh... It's definitely a thing that can happen. Yeah, it... Yeah, battles do take a little longer to load on the Dreamcast version. Then, well... You know, then playing on an emulator. If you really want to, like, play Skies of Arcadia... The best way, I'd recommend playing it on something like Demuel. Demuel handles this game great. It's really easy to get it working. There's basically no problems. 
you can no no major audio glitches that I know of. It's we did it. It's the way I played, and it was pretty good. But I remember like this game was notorious for being extremely hard to emulate. To watching you play it and it made me really want to play it. Well, that's good. I I, I like I like having I, I like encouraging people to play like awesome games like this. Yeah, Demul is surprisingly good. Unfortunately, they haven't updated the fucking emulate over three years. So. Yeah, however, other emulators are still being worked on all the time. Including one that's uh, currently available in RetroArch, so... It's only a matter of time before somebody t takes the hand- takes up the mantle. And surpasses Demul. But as it stands, Demul's still really good. Come on. There you go. See, this is why I kind of want, like, the, uh, the SD card source. Because then I can just play this game on original hardware with, like, no problem. And the VMU actually gets its uses. Like, not the screen, mind you, it just shows you... Well, no, it, it shows you cupel. But, like, it'll beep if you're near, like, a chime. That kind of shit. It's really cool. Rip development, it's closed source. It's not just closed source, it's, it's rushing closed source. And good luck with that one. Actually, let's visit the Demuel site real quick. Uh, Demuel. Okay, Demuel. Okay, the site still exists. However, the last update came out in November 2017. So. Doesn't seem to be worked on, unfortunately. Guys, I... When did I finish Skies of Arcadia? That was last year, right? I already want to play through the whole game all over again just by playing this one bit. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, I love this game so much. God, help me. Like, I play this game every, like, other two, every other year. Like, I'm not kidding. It's ridiculous. Okay, that's a lie. It's, it's mostly once every three to five years. But I still, I play through it so many times. It's one of the few games, like, I just cannot get tired. And I just, I can't get tired of it. Like, I always come back to it. I don't know why. Yeah, I should be doing that on the jewel case. This poor thing barely runs as is. That is fun. I remember the day when Dad came home and I just looked at this uh, box art and it was just I was enraptured in it, and just like reading the fucking like blurbs on the back. Man, holy shit! By the way, uh, Macromedia Flash Three. A anyone else feel old yet? Especially since Flash is about to die. Will you focus, you fucking piece of shit webcam? Will you please autofocus? Yeah, cool autofocus, asshole. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, look at that autofocus. Oh, it works so good. Yeah! Oh, goody. <laughs> Come on! Will you focus? God, it's, it's like I gotta do it in small steps, although it just won't work. There we go. That's what I wanted to show off. Fucking Flash 3. Net front. Holy shit. I was hurting my arm doing that. Come on. Yeah, this game's not perfect. No game is, but, um... It does a lot of things right. Although, yeah, the Dreamcast version does get a little grindy with the battles. I'll admit that, it's fine. Someday I'll play Legends. There's a hard mod... mod out for Legends. I wanna try it out. Over there. So... I remember the battles being una un 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 unable to continue the battles because they just kept, like, locking up. It seems to be working fine. It, it, the game is going to call me a liar, isn't it? If it doesn't happen here, then I know exactly where to go to get at the trigger. And if it doesn't happen there, I'm just going to like piss my I'm just going to piss my pants live on stream. 
It's gonna happen. Sam's going to like yeah. urinate in his pants. I'm not actually gonna piss my pants. That's disgusting. Fucking feed him with like the OP like healing move. Ah, that moves were really overpowered. Wait, hold on. I think you can see like the LED of my rumble being like reflected in in, in the uh, the Metroid every now and then. I put the son of a bitch on the on the Dreamcast. There you go, buddy. I love this thing. This is the best 20 bucks I ever spent. This thing is awesome. Guys, I, I specifically remember Skies of Arcadia just like disc 2 just not working. Why is it working all of a sudden? Did someone sneak into my house and, and replace the disc with a better version when I was asleep or something? What's going on here? I love the fact that you can use the analog stick or the D-pad. It's just like, I, I like control game, yeah! Holy shit. You know, analog movement, what's that? I don't know what analog movement is. Okay, I brought that one upon myself. Hi, so welcome to the last game of the Dreamcast Collection. I hope you uh, enjoy it. Because I'm going to be playing this game for the next five hours. <laughs> I could. I'm not going to, but I could. Yeah, so Legends has a has a hard mode. I think there's other mods out there. I don't know of any for the Dreamcast. I, I think this, the, the, this version's a little harder to mod than on the other ones. There is DLC for this game, though. Um, unfortunately, I can't get to it because it requires the use of the uh, fucking uh, broadband adapter. If I ever get, like... Okay. I'm seriously thinking about just modding my Dreamcast. And, like, the, if I ever do that SD thing, I'm getting the broadband adapter, and I'm also getting that VGA box that allows me to, like, output pristine, crystal clear, like, 480p, like, like visuals, like as good as, like, an actual, like, emulator. Because, like, the Dreamcast just outputted VGA. Like, like, did you know that? It's it's insane. And it's really not that hard to convert that signal to, like, HDMI. And you don't lose any, like, fucking, like, the visual fidelity. It's incredible. Dreamcast is the only console from this time that has this ability. Like, not even Nintendo consoles have that. It's incredible. Also, why is the is the GameCube's component cable so fucking expensive? Like, I, I was never planning on buying any, because I, I have the Wii for that, but, you know. <laughs> why are they hundreds of dollars? Did Nintendo just not make any? Mad cats, more like crusty cats. I don't know why I said that.
This is now turned to a from a Dreamcast cam into a into a a, <laughs> a jump pack cam. Watch my motor spin, baby. <laughs> See, now this game has better like rumble support, I think. I like how they have the fucking LED in there. Like, what's the point? Like, yes, the the, the the rumble is motoring. Like, there's no reason to give me a fucking visual aid. What's the point? Okay, I can't hold my arm up anymore. to birth. Fucking go nuts. Why is the rumble motor exposed? Uh, there used to be a piece of red plastic, uh, like, like a shield. Um, it's still in my drawer. It, um, you see how there's a bit of damage done to, like, the, like, the right side there? Yeah, it, if you look beyond the blur, you can totally see it. Anyway, it won't held in place anymore because of that chunk that's missing. You can see it there. It's uh, yeah, I I I don't entirely know how that happened. It's I, it's probably it was always like that, and then it fell off one day. So I'm gonna go ahead and blame the guy who shipped it on eBay with absolutely zero packing peanuts or, or any sort of shipping. Uh, you know, uh, what's the word? He didn't pack the the. the ex there's no packing. No sort of protection against like shocks or anything in the in the fucking like f shit the balls Put a new clip in the folder for you Tech try to be concerned Focus you fuck Yeah, that's um Yeah, that's that yeah that yeah Focus you fuck. Yeah, that's about right. I'm going to come your pants off. That was from yesterday's stream. That's right, I am going to personally come down there and come your pants off. Yeah, House of the Dead 2 was amazing. I did play that on the original, like, uh, Dreamcast Showcase, but I, since I was playing it on the controller, I couldn't get too far. I didn't want to get too far. Still really good. See, that's what I mean about the Dreamcast controller. Like, like if you point it directly upward, it's not quite upward. You kind of have to like do a lot of uh, like adjusting. So I'm kind of surprised. It's supposed to, like... Okay. Alright, listen. Probably wondering why I came all this way just to, like, do a, do a, do a quick reset. I, I, I need to check something real quick. Which involves flying over to the Maw of Tartus. If you remember, that's like the, the cave system under uh, Valua. Almost at Volva again.
So this is what I mean about the Dreamcast controller. If you, you, do you see how it's kind of like difficult to like fly directly straight? Like you're always going at some angle. So yeah, this is this, this is the problem I have with the Dreamcast controller. Like up doesn't feel like up. Like this is what I think is straight up. It's a little off. So that's why Nintendo put like uh, hexagonal gates in their, uh, their, their their controllers. Boy, I forgot how much the uh, I completely forgot how much the uh, the game lagged. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, if uh, I guess I wouldn't recommend playing this game on original hardware because uh, su uh, surprisingly, the emulator is actually like a better way to play just because there's a lot of lag. Oh, I think he's a cute little guy. Is that a bunny? That's a bunny. Rabats. Rabats. A strange creature that spends its entire life hanging upside down by digging its claws into the rock face. Until it was discovered underneath the Valiant continent, it was thought to be a myth. Its intelligence and ferocity belie its cute appearance. Aw, oh, but he's so cute, though. Look at him. He's a little bunny. I hang up for yawn. <laughs> Sorry, how you guys doing? I'll take him and make a pet. Okay, we're in the Fark Fick fucking Nukin. Dookie Nukie. Is this, uh, is the entrance to this fucking cave. I'm getting kind of tired. Did anyone else hear it in my voice? Like, I'm not like... Whew, like my eyes are getting... It's getting hard for me to see. Like, I think yesterday it really did, like, take a lot out of me. Like, I originally had uh, Bloodstain. I was gonna finish off Bloodstain tonight. Like, that was on the, the uh, up-next sort of idea. But then I, I decided, no, that's a bad idea, because I'm not gonna have the strength to... F I, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Oh, here we go. This is where we gotta go. Here is where I ran into the most problems with the disc. So, if this doesn't end up causing issues, then I'm going to be flabbergasted. Because five years ago, I was not able to, to, to progress any further because the game kept freezing at the end of battles here. But we'll see. I love the fucking like battle music for the uh, the ship battles. Just got the fucking Amen beat and everything. Never get tired of this music, man. Here's something I never realized about the VMUs. Like, the actual display for the VMU is there, but but if you notice, there's like a... 20 or so pixels on top where it's used for like the actual like saving and shit. So like, I, I thought that all the VMU was always used for the display, but no, it wasn't. There are some other icons up there too. You can't see any of that. Guys, why is the game not like locking up? I explain to me what what changed between 2015 and now, where the game's suddenly working perfectly again? I- I am... I am beyond words. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I love how the VMU just tells you shit like fighting now. Yeah, not many- I, I love the idea of the VMU of just like this little screen that's in the controller, but not many games use it. I understand why they... You know, N Nintendo tried it with, with like, the, uh, you know, the DS line with, with, like, the two consoles. The DS and 3DS, as well as the Nintendo Wii U. 
And there was a good reason why they just stopped. Because developers really don't fully know how to always take advantage of the second screen. And especially with the Dreamcast, um, you get shit like this all the time. Where it just displays the logo of your fucking game because they're like, Well, we don't know what to put in there. Although, to give Sky's credit, it actually, like, shows Cupel. And if Cupel detects a, uh... You know, a cham, he'll get excited, and you, you can physically see him get excited. Which is useful because you can actually turn him off. If you don't like the beeping, you can turn him off. And rely on the, on the, on the feel of the vibration in order to, like, lead you to the Cupel, as well as the visual feedback of Cupel, um, masturbating hardly. hardly. Hey, if I stick this VMU in, like, the VHS slot of this TV, do you think I'm gonna get it back? I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Hey guys, ready? I'm gonna show some lewd acts live on stream. You ready? Here we go! I'm, I'm gonna lock him! Oh! They're locked. Fun fact, um, that's how you share data between, like, two, two VMUs. Well, you know, besides using the Dreamcast, that is. However, you want to know something cool? You can't take one of these and hook it to a rumble. Watch. It doesn't work. They they thought they thought that's how far ahead. You know, I have some 2032s lying around. I should probably uh I kinda wanna start like one of these up. Uh oh. Uh Hmm, so when I uh, when I put the rumble pack in, this happens. Let us pray that our next battle goes as well. Like uh, Cupel just kind of like freezes up, uh, and, and I lose control. Uh, that's not good. Hold on. Uh, excuse me a sec. And we're back. Okay, I had to unplug the disc, apparently. Yeah, once the stream's over, the Dreamcast is just gonna go back on the shelf. <laughs> Sad, but true. <sighs> By the way, I only own one of these caps. It doesn't even fit real good on the, on the VMU, but I just- I only own one of these. I don't know where the others went. Fuck's sake. Guys, really, why is the game working now after all these years? Like, it's, it, it doesn't really, like, I, I attributed it to Discrod even though I couldn't see any damage on the actual, like, data layer. But it just, it, it, it kept freezing at a certain part of this game. And I couldn't, I couldn't play anymore. But now it works. Why does it work now? I'm getting upset. Oh good, drilling us, my favorite. Drilling them nuts. Boy, we we're talking about like uh pointy tits earlier. Hello.
That's not what I meant by code. Well, these big guys, like, take a lot of fucking hits. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, I love him. What the fuck is this walrus bug? Got so much fucking... Takes so much abuse, too. Jesus. Do I have a flashlight? Hold on. I think I do, actually. Yeah, here we go. Hey, uh, tell me, is this bright? I said, is this bright? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, LEDs. You know what's funny? We, uh... You know those salsa bowls you get at, like, uh, places like, you know, like, like a Mexican restaurant? We actually stole some of those. <laughs> like, I'm not Joe Jokin. I use them to dip stuff in. Like, here's, like, I had steak today, so... I just have one that, with, with, with like, that I put a little bit of barbecue sauce in. <laughs> but it's... It, it's meant for, like, taco stuff, but I just... <laughs> we just ended up stealing it. Guys, I, uh, I don't understand. Um, I was well and truly prepared to, like, show off how the, uh, the disc can, uh, become problematic, but, uh, apparently it's fine now, and I don't entirely know what's wrong. Maybe it was just a Dreamcast. Like, all those years ago, maybe, just maybe, the lens was a little dirty. And it had, and it was struggling to read the, uh, the Dreamcast disc. That could very well be a possibility. Like, I don't think, I think, I don't know. I really don't know. I want to say my, my first thought was to clean the laser, but I don't remember if I did or not. I could have. Maybe I did, and it didn't wor help. Didn't work. I don't remember. I just remember I couldn't get past the spot. Because of uh, the, the fucking like, laser like constantly locking up. In fact, this dungeon here, I uh, completely bypassed it just by uh, like running past everything. I want to see one of the special moves. Right, I was going to do uh, Vice's eye patch code. All right, here we go. So, it's right, right, left, left, up, down, up, down, right, left. And there he is. <laughs> Vice is naked. Don't look. God, he look—he looks so different without that fucking eye patch. I love how that's just like a fucking code. Boy, that makes the hardware really like sag behind a little bit. Still playing Skies of Arcadia, lol. 
Tech, I am gonna like piss on your grave, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get like the. I'm trying to show off the fact that the disc doesn't work, but. I guess you went somewhere, so you probably missed my whole spiel about how I think it might. The disc might have. My laser might have just been dirty all those years ago. I'm still musing on how the fuck, like, the game could work now, but it didn't work all those years ago. It's the same Dreamcast. What I said. I bought another Dreamcast because the old laser d didn't work. I mean, the old laser didn't work, period. It couldn't play games. Every game, it said, like, error reading disc or in whatnot. Wow, everyone went to sleep. That's a problem. Everyone needs to be awake for the, for my next move. No, I was here. Oh, then why did you say that? Asshole. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, blue rogues. Fuck yeah. Get a load of these. I never miss. Hmm. A fine blade. I guess this is the last game in the collection? Yeah, because there's nothing else left. I specifically made it last for a reason, too. You know, I figured I'd say you know the, the best for last. Even though I've already played through it, like you know, on the stream. Uh, yes. <laughs> you guys looked hungry. Ha! The Gotta love that move. So I'm gonna investigate the disc after we're done here. Well, the game seems to be working fine now, so I still don't understand what's going on here. Five years ago, it would not work. And it works today. Um, I, gu I guess in one way I'm happy, because that means I can like actually continue my save that I left hanging all those years ago. I won't, but I can. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm a little upset, because that means I could have like actually beat the game back then and just didn't. Yeah, see, a 522-2015. Speed devils, yeah. yeah. Get that, get that off there. All right, so yeah, so that was the Sega Dreamcast. A uh, happy twenty-fifth birthday, Dreamcast. Uh, it's been fun. Yeah, but this is still an excellent console, and I, I still love it to death. Let me take a quick look at this disc, like. I know the surface is a little scratched here and there, but it's not too bad. This disc was buffed before because um, we bought the game used. Remember, Fantasy Realms, used game dealership. We bought the game. They had to buff it because whoever had it last trashed the game. However, okay, I'm shining the light through the disc, and I do not see any holes, so there's actually no disc rot. What I thought was disc rot was actually maybe the laser. I do not know, but I do not see any holes in the in the data lining. Yeah, I you know. Hey, hey! Now I can actually show off the games. This is what disc two looks like. It shows the value in Armada's symbol. It's pretty cool, actually. Beautiful discs, by the way. And what's disc one? Oh, what else other than the ro the blue rogue symbol? See, that's what I mean. Like the games are always awesome. Hey, look! Hey, look what's advertised in here. <laughs> Fucking Fantasy Star Online. It's great. And this is what the inner sleeve looks like. This beautiful artwork of of, of the three main heroes. Yeah. Thought I'd show that off. Since I'm here, you know. Of course, all this information can just be found online. Just by looking it up. Oh, trying to be careful here. There we go. Alright, so. That was the Dreamcast Showcase. Thank you all for tuning in. 
about one last time before I put her away. How about we hear that glorious, glorious startup sound? Yeah. Quite a legacy, and games are still being made for this system to this day. Like, it's, it's hard to think about, but it's true. Like, games are actually being made for this son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the Dreamcast. <laughs> Props to Sega for releasing such a cool console all those years ago and having it be an utter failure. <laughs> I mean, it sucks, but, I mean, they really did give it their all with the last shot, and, man, I, I kind of wish it was more successful than what it was. So. What did you send me? Safari can't open the file. Oh. <laughs> what? Why is Safari trying to open an executable? Wait, that's not your photo, is it? <laughs> that, that looks like Apple. Okay, who's the wise guy who downloaded a Windows executable onto Mac? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Someone's a dumbass. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Alright, listen. I'm gonna head out as I... S uh, oh, perfect timing too, by the way. My frames are dropping. All right, listen, I had a lot of fun here tonight. Uh, I'm going to get going. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. And uh, I had a lot of fun here uh, with uh, just recounting all of my Dreamcast. But first, um, hold on. Do you guys want to actually see what my collection looks like? Like, I mean, fully. I'm going to make the Jenga tower. Give me a sec. <laughs> I don't want to make the Jenga tower, but I will. Oh, this is sketchy. I don't like doing this. Yeah, I gotta go through my collection and like, uh, like separate the, uh, uh, the, uh, the multiples here. You know, like the duplicates. Okay. All right, there she goes. Get, get them all lined up. Best I can. Put some guys on the top. And right, there we go. Let's let's switch to the webcam. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, good. Beautiful. Anyway, that there they are. That's my entire Dreamcast collection. I played all of these games tonight. Or, or the last two days, I should say. But there they are. All of my my entire Dreamcast collection is all right here. Yep. Skies of Arcadia to, like, Sonic Adventure 2, to Sonic Adventure 2, to Sega Smash Pack, to Sega Smash Pack. Uh, here's Nightmare Creatures, Grand Diet 2. This is my collection. Quite proud of it. So, yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this has been a really fun stream. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> With some more shit. Uh, that'll be the end of the, the Dreamcast stuff for now. Um, don't really have anything else. I might I might start streaming Grand Diet 2 soon, though. I'm not entirely sure like when I'm going to stream that, but I, I eventually. I kind of want to get through that soon. I really want to play it. You know, I have a lot of games on my list, but uh, yeah, Grand Diet 2 is definitely one that I'm going to be playing soon. So expect that. Uh, it'll probably be in Demuel, though. Just, you know, just adds up. So... Yeah. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Double SA2. Yeah. Yeah, too bad one doesn't work because I could sell one of them and make a lot of money. <laughs> like, again, Sonic Adventure 2 is worth like 80 bucks complete in box. It's in pretty good condition. Maybe I could still make some money, like around like 60 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I got to do some with these duplicates, man. All right, listen, I've, I've had a lot of fun. I'm going to get going. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. And, uh, see you guys later. Yeah, take care of yourselves. Uh, wash your junk, play with your tits, and focus, you fuck.